Hello, everyone, and welcome to another Ashes Wednesday. If you haven't been following along, it's been a few weeks. We, we take a couple weeks off, uh, had some stuff going on and some other, other games to cover. Uh, but Ashes Reborn is the basically a re reborn version of Ashes, which is a game that came out in 2015. This is, see, this is our problem, though. Remember, Gaming Reborn... As the as the tagline, which we make it back to, by the that way, that was our uh, original about. tagline. That's where our logo and stuff. Our original tagline: Gaming are born mm-hmm. 13 or so years ago when we started. But I had a problem with it on the marketing side because there's no verb for reborn. It's like, how do you reborn something? Yeah, you don't want to say rebirth. And I I won't yeah, almost said rebirth. Because you're like reborn ashes. sounds cool. Rebirth sounds uh, just different. Yeah, it sounds sounds gross. Yeah, ultimately. Uh, and there's really not a great passive. To have rebirthed something, yeah. it's been, it uh, has been. Reborn. Short version: Game came out in 2015. Plaid Hat went through some acquisitions and a lot of learning to do on the game itself. They partnered with us to bring this back using the PDP. That's a player-driven production model, where if enough people are signed up, this game's going to keep getting made and automatically showing up through our subscription platform. Uh, you can learn more about that on the website. And if you were following along in the last bit of stream, so. In our break, a few things. In the break, when we weren't streaming for the chat, they're so funny. <laughs> <laughs> Done, born, again, <laughs> rekindled, uh, reincarnated, uh, reanimated. Rekindled is pretty good, there. but done, born, again um, is great, Zach. Thank you for that. So we had a, we had a, several weeks off, and uh, during that time, Plat Hat had the last couple of articles going up. And so, as far as I'm aware, the entire Ashes Reborn upgrade kit, the first thing that's coming up. Uh, in the subscription service has been spoiled and revealed. Uh, the vast majority of those cards, we have printed out proxies, and I have all those here. You can see these big stacks of all these Zach cards Zach did here. all of the hard work on this. Also, you guys should really know that. Uh, it's important to publicly recognize people when they do things, particularly when they're annoying. Like it's printing cards, guy. cutting them, printing matching them up to their actual up, cards, yeah. and sorting them yeah. again. Uh, yeah, in my I was I was excited to do it because I'm really excited to get to this point. I'm even more excited to actually get those reborn kits in hand because like having the actual cards will make this so much easier. Because like right now we have these like there's a card and there's a paper thing and then we put them in a sleeve so they're doing their thing. Uh, it just makes it a little more tedious and I, I, inevitably I think I'm going to put these in a binder like we did Flesh mm-hmm. and Blood. And it makes it way easier to browse all the cards, but I don't want to do that when I have all the paper slips right now because it's just a lot of extra work. Yeah, um, just a pain. But all that's been revealed. You can find all those articles on Plat Hat's website. And if you're totally new, I've seen a lot of people in the chat saying this is the first stream they're catching, so welcome. Can you leave a comment if you're totally new to Ashes or if you've not played before, if you're thinking about getting in, those kinds of things? I'd love to know who's and out there. Even when we're not live, like one of the videos uh, up on YouTube, feel free to leave a comment as well. We see we see those, which is cool. Um, but the that that actually took me down a different path, and now I'm trying to get yeah, back we'll to Yeah, we'll go down the path. You want to talk about subscriptions? You want to try to make some uh, make some promotional plays here? Do we want to play I some... I don't even know. What I do know, oh, I remember. I got it back. I got it. I'm, I'm back mark, in the game. So mark, they've spoiled mark. the whole thing. Originally, they were targeting uh, end of year to try to get that first first product out, and then it got pushed back to January. So if you're already signed up, you don't need to do anything. It's just going to automatically show up in January. And if you haven't yet, you can sign up still. Um, and then the upgrade kit's going to be coming out, and then the stuff after that is about every three months. Uh, so thirty bucks every three months to get the stuff. But before we took a break and before they revealed everything, you and I have been streaming Ashes pretty much every week since the announcement. And the last like three or four times we streamed, you were just dunking on me. Okay. I wasn't gonna say it, but yeah, I was just getting. It wasn't. It, it wasn't even like. So we played Flesh and Blood Sealed yesterday, and those games were really tight, really close. Yeah. Uh, but I kept feeling like I was just getting like, I could see I was gonna lose, and then I would slowly lose for two turns in a row, and mm-hmm. just games over. Mm-hmm. So the last time we streamed, actually, after the stream, I stayed in the office and I tweaked my Odette and my Oni deck. So you're saying it's not me being uh, perhaps the best Ashes player on the planet. It could but be. But it's you having a, a bad deck. I mean, maybe. What I know is that, well, this is a part of playing a card game like this, right? Is that, like, I remember back in the Game of Thrones first edition days when Ben Comstock had that Maester deck. Oh, my gosh. And literally, we had a 20, 30-person local community every week coming to play these events. And there was a several-month period where no one could beat him. Couldn't beat it. And then when someone finally did, everyone rejoiced, right? Yeah, yeah. And as we would later find out, uh, he was not just a Game of Thrones whisperer. Uh, within a year, <laughs> I think... He was quite like, good. He was good. But within a year, like, 60% of those cards were on the restricted list, meaning you couldn't run them together. He knew how to pick them. Yeah. You know? <laughs> I mean, that's a, hey, that's a skill as well, is it not? Being able to call a, call a goose a goose is apparently... Uh, it's worthwhile. But... All that to say, it was clear that uh, I was getting smoked, and so I was like, well, the only thing I can do to not get smoked 
because I don't have access to a bunch of people to play against right now. Right. Uh, so I can't like go practice more. You can't go through the training montage. Yeah. You know, so run, run up the stairs. I at least need to like really take some time because we're on stream. Uh, we talked about this where it's like you got the game going on, you got our conversation going on, you got chat being monitored. You're making sure the production stuff's going. There's a lot of. We're gonna have a, a cocktail today too, mm. so we're gonna have to manage that as well. I, yeah. Well, as we saw last week, I'm not good at managing that. Apparently, I knocked my drink straight over into my laptop. <clears throat> which is uh, not that's why I have my cup uh, my uh, coaster yeah I almost said cup holder, and, but... and for those of you wondering we're not doing that solely because uh, we enjoy the experience or are any kind that of that doesn't uh, hurt any kind of negligent with our own health but primarily because uh, we're on the road to a third iteration of our local retail store we've closed the second iteration we've moved to a new space now we're seeking out the third iteration uh, and one of those uh, key aspects is going to be uh, some sort of a, a cocktail program. So we're working through recipes right now to try to figure out what we want to serve. We previously had uh, beer on tap. Also, uh, you could say that we're rebirthing the store. We're rekindling. Reanimating. Re, re, yeah, re, re, uh, you know. Reborning. Everything needs to go through. I feel like things need to go through a constant cycle of destruction and rebirth. I mean, not only is that how nature does it, but... It's also just the only way to make real progress with any kind of like with a business or something. You, it, what happens, let me wax for a second. I'm, I'm getting spun up. Somebody pull this string on my back. Um, so it, the, what happens is businesses do something, they find success, and then they stop innovating and they stay put and they try to hold on to that as long as possible. And then they get boring and then they get unexciting. And then they, the, the brands start to be really old and decrepit and then they whimper out. Uh, and we don't want to do that. Anyway. Ever. That's what you're for, right? Uh, let's look at some comments because we asked some questions. There's yeah, some, some people were some new. Going in. Uh, T Grand Arbiter saying, do you see the Twitch comments? We do. You're on Twitch and I'm uh, I'm responding. So <laughs> I'm going to... funny if we said no. <laughs> no not seeing it at all. <laughs> uh, Robert Mc McCauley yeah. uh, saying, totally new. What's up, so Robert? Completely new. Patrick Leitzel saying, completely new. First time seeing it played today. That's amazing. Key saying, Zach throwing, breaking his back, printing and cutting. Pay that man. Uh, I He's can't... getting paid. Yeah. He's getting paid. I'm... He like runs, I said, happy to do it. He runs the payroll, so I assume he's getting paid. I don't, I don't see it. There was a long period of time where I didn't, though. <laughs> a very, extremely long period of time. Yeah, uh, been there. Yeah, Zach saying, I bought the original box, admired the components, never really played it, and then donated it to my FLGS before I moved. Uh, hmm. Have you time to rekindled rebind. your interest? Have you? Are you getting back in on the Reborn? Y-Wing Scum saying, I'm not new, but I am subscribed. Well, welcome. Great. Great. Book Thank Hunter, you. I'm new and I pre-ordered the core box. It's too bad that it got pushed back to January, though. It'll be here soon. And once we once we get this roller coaster going, this train is stopping. In. Zach McGaw saying TC branded sippy cups. Yeah, maybe I maybe I need that. Uh, <laughs> that would be kind of a fun thing to have at the shop, wouldn't it? Sippy cup store. Well, like obviously we wouldn't necessarily call them that, but some sort of uh, you know some sort of spillable drink. Uh, could we do it in a nice way? You know, could you actually make that nice? Because that would give me a great degree of security if I was like in a in an event and I, I somebody else's cards were in front of me and like mm -hmm. I've got something here. That's we true. do that. I mean, that happens with beer as it is, and we've never had Bill spear on other people's cards, have we, or anything beer like spills? that in the I, in the store? No, but I think it's because they're in glasses like this. I can so knock like, that over. I mean, you'd have to you'd have to go for it. the The glass I had last <laughs> week was a high. What do you call it? A high. What? Highball. Highball. I uh, so a lot of weight something? up top, very thin stem yeah. with a base. Um, those are obviously much easier. Do you know why they, they do those? Do you know why they're built like that? So you don't have. I, I think it's because you don't have to put your hand on it, so your heat doesn't transfer That's to it. a drink. It's supposed to keep it cold. Mm -hmm. yeah. But I only know that because of you and Robert. You guys are uh, information well, slash uh, process connoisseurs, and so you, you both haven't made cocktails we, for a long time. We tend to Google a lot of things. Andrew Mello Here is mine. <laughs> well, that's, one, that's where you start. You also have books and stuff. Andrew Mello <laughs> saying, I've subscribed. I had been working with some of the new rules. I'm really liking the changes. Yeah, and there's also, there's a website. I think it's called ashes.live. Um, and they, it's like a deck builder. And that was the, pr the prominent one back in the day. And they were waiting to update all the cards until all the cards have been spoiled. I assume that's happened at this point. That was one of the tough things, too. We were spoiling all this stuff, and I was trying to deck build, and it's like, the only way for me to look at the new cards is to go through these piles. Yeah. Uh, and that, that can be tough. Yeah. Yeah. 100%. Keith McDowell saying, between the champagne and the cocktail, it's two for two. I'm just saying. Zach, can you carry this here for a second? Oh, we got the drinks coming in, too. I've got, I've got old Builder calling yep. me. I'll uh, let's get a commotion going. I'll, I'll get it going. Robert, thank you so much. Oh, yeah. 
Can you tell me what is this drink? The Queen Elizabeth? So, so yeah, no, we had to we had to change course because I was lacking an ingredient that I needed for that mm. kiwi. Uh, but this is a couple of down yeah, there. Yeah, there you go. This is a Japanese cocktail. This is called Japanese cocktail? That's correct. Uh, it's brandy, orgeat, mango, and lemon. lemon. Orgeat? Oh, uh, that is an almond flavored syrup. Okay, so it's almond, lemon, brandy. Brandy and Angostura bitters. Okay. The classic. The, the, the classic classic. Yeah, I, I uh, mistakenly thought I had it, I, what I needed for a QE, but we'll stop. Oh, what do we have here? Japanese cocktail. Oh, the Japanese. The only reason I have Wurjot. <laughs> he did mention it. It's the almond something yeah. something? Yeah. And it can be good or it can be not good. You have to be very careful what kind of Wurjot you get. Because sometimes it's like uh, it has all the particulate essentially in it. And you don't you don't want that. Yeah. I had one of Models those. Models up your drink. Yeah. Not ideal. Good. Uh. Where is that? T Grand Arbiter says it hasn't been updated yet, but the team is working hard on it. Okay, that's great. Uh, Christopher Blaze saying it had everything from 1.0, but was sad to see it go. Ecstatic that it's back. Thank you. Well, thank you. Uh, this is only possible because a bunch of people signed up and subscribed, and it'll keep being possible as long as people are signed up, which is the cool. As a player, that's one of the coolest things I can imagine. The number of games I've played that I love that went away, uh, even though there were tons of people still into it, is high. Why we're going to solve that problem in a lot of ways, aren't we, Zach? I, it is, yeah. That You can imagine the... It's like it, a store should it, solve that problem. If you've been watching our throwbacks on Thursdays, we've been playing a lot of old games. A lot of them were, uh, were very fond of, and these games stopped getting officially supported, and it's hard for retailers to, to do anything with them. Uh, so that's definitely one of the things we're looking to address. Well, hey, it seems like cheers. Ashes is when the, the booze comes out, so cheers everybody out there. Hey, hope you're having a good day. Just remember you're capable of anything. I guess I need to take a drink. I, I like the... Uh, um, and then I need to talk about what I just tasted, which is delightful. Isn't that delightful? Um, whew, that's I, a good one. That's I the like, best one I've had. Recently, I feel like it, <clears throat> it's been good. You, you've been going through a, a house building process. Mm -hmm. and I've been in the, the fires of the Balrog. I feel like uh, between 2020 and that stuff going on, uh, your reaction to that has been very positive. About, like you're saying very positive yes. things like remember you can accomplish anything. Yes. Uh, it's almost like the like uh, just positive uh, I just, you know what? You know why? I want to be the change I want to see in the world, Zach. Isn't that what Gandhi said? I think that's misattributed to Gandhi all the time. Be the change you want to see in the world? Was it Einstein? You can put anybody's name next to it. A Lincoln. lot of people probably said it. Yeah, <laughs> Lincoln, Michael Scott, Gandhi. Uh, did did it, I tell you about my experiments this summer? We just need more positive Family members. I, I created a couple things just to see if they might like and or share them. It worked. Oh, yeah. It was totally fake, though. Oh, good for you. Well, you know, everything's weird right now. We're going to make it out of this alive, and you know why? Because we've got a game like Astros Reborn in front of us. We can sit together at a table. We can have a great time. We can connect with each other. That's the whole point of this industry and this hobby uh, is to get away from a lot of the stuff uh, that continues to accelerate, to me, in the wrong direction online. I think digitally, uh, we're kind of out of control. So unfortunately, the pandemic kind of took that from us. But it's about to, I think, return. I think it's about to, to flip. I think we're about to be able to sit down again. I think we're going to see an explosion of human connection. I think tabletop gaming is going to be waiting for people who want to cast aside all the nonsense and come together and actually talk to people in the flesh and in person so we can start to see each other again, as people would say. Um, meantime, do you want to play against Victoria or Surya? Because I feel like this is a deck that I need to work on. This is not good enough. And I want to talk about Victoria for a second. Right. Over here, Vicky, Victoria Glassfire. Um, if we can pull this up, um, is there? Do, are we up? Yeah, oh, we're good. Ooh, that looks good. We got the if it's got the golden halo, it means it's the new. That's version. a great pop. That looks very nice. Well done. Hey, this drink is phenomenal. Isn't it good? Yeah, it's it's the one you want. But with a cocktail program like, to me, it's all about how much can you push out with like five bottles. Because you don't, you don't want to stock the full bar and get into all of that. I've, I've been there. I've done it at my house, and it is... A lot of spoilage. Eventually, et cetera, et cetera. you trim down, and you like learn that there's a few key things that you can riff off of. But looking at Victoria... Um, I'm on time here. So, yeah. <laughs> we got a side action. Here's, here's what I'm trying to figure mm -hmm. out on this ability. Mm -hmm. you got a side action, and you're sacrificing a die to reroll four of theirs and four of yours. So what we know in Ashes, we know that the real, the real advantage of changing die sides, not because we can't punt them out anymore, we have to change them and, and manipulate them, 
you waste your opponent's opportunity to do a side action they want to do into a main action they want to do, and they have to instead do a side action to meditate into the main action they want to do. Mm -hmm. And then over the long course of the game, if they're having to meditate a lot, particularly if they're having to meditate more than you are, you can drag a game into the run out of deck stage, and then you can play a mill strategy. So I'm trying to figure out if this ability for a die particularly is actually meaningful enough if you're not running a mill dedicated deck. I mean, to me, I never even necessarily, when I was first pulling out cards that I might want to build a deck for and she came up, it was less about thinking about a mill endgame and more, once they're out of deck, their ability to meditate is very difficult. So this ability, once they can't really meditate, gets even better. Oh, it's so good. Once that happens, it's so good. Yeah, so th then it's not even about, like, I'm trying to win this direction. It's just, like, I'm putting you in a corner, and you don't get to meditate anymore. So you get your roll, and then I get to make it really bad for you. And you never have to meditate with this ability, right? Because you can reroll your own dice. So, like... Technically. Now, sometimes you... So what I ran into with this a lot is that I, I didn't have dice that I really cared to reroll. Right? Like, I'd hit most of the strong sides, or at least the mid sides, and it's like, if I reroll uh, two basics and two wolves, like, those wolves could turn into basics, those basics mm -hmm. could turn into basics. I could hurt myself with that. But, like, part of it is, it is the same, May. <clears throat> Up to four. And yes. you reroll an equal number, in your, so you have to reroll. Yeah. Uh, but, I mean, like, in your end game, if you are playing against a mill deck, you have access to rerolls for one resource. Mm -hmm. Which, that is all, that's the side I was talking about, is, like, yeah, you may hit or miss on the rerolls. You may not want to reroll. But like if someone mills you out very quickly, you're not as in a you're not in as bad a shape as most decks would. It is be. kind of an anti-mill card as much as a <laughs> pro mill card, like, uh, which is interesting. I saw too, I, I really like this from Zero is Nine. Um it protects you for a turn against power die. So like you know those frog abilities, mm -hmm. for instance, you can't side action meditate, side action frog. Mm -hmm. Um so it does buy you a turn there, which is a pretty niche use case, but a good uh use case. And Tigra and Arbor's Hand, uh, Victoria's ability is one uh, that you don't use every round, and that's fair to say. Um, so then you ask, why am I running Victoria, right? And so let's look at her signature card. I mean, part of it is her stats are great. She's a five battlefield, five spell war, 18 that's true. health. That's true. That's something I don't look at enough. Because, like, I'm looking at uh, Mayoni. Uh, she has two extra health, but she loses a battlefield slot. I'm looking at Odette. She has two less spellboard slots, same mm -hmm. health. Two more uh, Odette, yeah. So just strictly, if you look at Odette... Uh... Do you guys want to keep on the main shot, or do you want to go to the board? This main shot, man, that drink is perfectly in focus right now. It really is. Look at that. <laughs> that thing's about to get launched off that table. <laughs> Can uh, you even imagine? So, I mean, I think her stats are... You might are good. You might actually think of her then as kind of that generically good uh, Phoenix Born. Kind of like HB, you know, like uh, gain a credit every time you install kind of stuff. It's like on Netrunner. That's Netrunner. I, a lot of you probably don't know that. I'm sorry. Um, but it's like if you don't have a, a direction for a deck to go, maybe you just throw Victoria in as kind of a generically good thing because her special card just is copying something that your Copy opponent cat. plays. It's called copycat. And so that's that's not... I can't think of any particular deck that I could build on my side that's going to utilize copycat better or worse than, than other uh, Phoenix Born. Like, it's really just about, ah, whatever yeah. you're doing, like, I, I can copy I can, it. I can, I can do that thing. So it does seem like maybe she fills that role of, do you want... If you don't have a strong direction, you're just running, like, quality stuff. Just play Victoria. Sounds like Steven. Yeah. yeah just put her on the good stuff. Uh, and, I mean, obviously she needs that illusion uh, die. So it, she's probably just the generically good illusion Phoenix Born, right? Yeah, I like that. I like thinking of it like that. Yeah. Which yeah. is why I ran that Sleeping Bear. And I think that a lot of times people fall into a trap of, like, uh, obviously abilities are important and stats are important, but, like, feeling like a, a Phoenix Born has to play to that specifically. And I think the more more we've been playing, the recognition is that most cards aren't tied to a specific magic type. Most Phoenix Born aren't tied to a specific magic type, or they're barely like she's only sort of tied. Especially now that you can't remove opponent's dice. Mm -hmm. Like 
you run two or three illusion dice and she's doing her thing. So yeah. you don't it doesn't have to be a illusion deck. Yeah, you um, know, that's that's a very good point. You could even run one illusion die and just in case that. you ever need it yep. and and get away with that. And I doesn't it feel like they're opening these Phoenix Born up in that in those ways where they're less restrictive and you can kind of swip and swap that's how it more? Feels. Yeah, I feel like most cards are feeling less restrictive. Good question here from Douglas Stewart. I'm Let's sure cover you, it. you guys have covered this, but I'm new to Ashes and ready to jump in. What do I need to purchase now and what subscriptions do I need to get new content moving forward? Thanks in advance. So there's a few things to to understand. If you have none of the old product, the first thing coming through the subscription is the upgrade kit, which upgrades about 30% of the cards in the game previously. Um, so the place you'll want to start is go to Plaid Hat's website, and you can pre-order the core set, and you can pre-order any expansions that you want. I recommend the Law of Lions and... What's the Song of Soak Sin. Song of Soak Sin, because those come with these nice boxes. Like this. These um, come with those? Yep. Since when, really? Yeah, the whole time. Forever? That's them over there. So they come with nice boxes. MR ducks. <laughs> MR ducks. And they also come <laughs> with, with the dice that don't don't come in the core set. And then any Phoenix Born that looks interesting to you, you can pre-order those as well. Those are expected at some point, I think, as well in January. Um, and then you really have a choice. You can either sign up for a subscription now or after our first subscription charges. If you sign up now, the upgrade kit's gonna come with about 30% of the cards from the original or not from the original game, that are being updated from the original game. So those are mostly all playable regardless of whether you buy all the expansions or not. So it's a pretty good deal for $30 to get a bunch of cards to deck build with, even if you're just buying a core set and maybe the two deluxes that are being, that have the dice. Um, and if you're buying it all, uh, you know, either the upgrade kit is a bunch of extra cards that you just have multiple copies of, or if you want, you can wait and then buy, the, buy whatever you want now, whenever that ships, a January time after we've charged through the subscription. It'll update to saying, um, is the deluxe box is like Breaker of Fate or something like that? I think, is that the time thing? Is yeah. So turtle, the, turtle power? The first thing happening after the upgrade kit is a deluxe box that's going to come with uh, the last, the seventh and final die type in, in Ashes. And so you can sign up after that point and then you're good to go. You get everything new as it comes out. Uh, it's $29.95 every three months. It'll automatically show up. You'll get charged a week or two before it, it ships and you're off to the races. I'll tell you. I'll tell you what I would do um, personally, and Zach would probably do it differently because uh, more cards is better. But if it were me right now and I was a brand new player, I would pre-order the core set and both of those deluxes from Plaid Hat, and then I would choose one to two expansions that have Phoenix Born that I'm really jacked about, like thematically. I really enjoy the look of etc. And I would not, I would actually, I know this is working against our best interest, but I would not subscribe yet. Because, like, the thing that would bother me is that upgrade pack has 30% of the card pool rebalance. That means you're going to have dupes of the expansions that you're buying in Reborn. Mm -hmm. I hate the idea of, like, having weird quantities of cards. So I would just get the expansions in, and then Astros Reborn, the upgrade pack will charge through the sub. That'll come out, and all the old players and old collections will get updated. And then every Ashes player at that point, whether you're just getting in, whether you're old, whether you're new, it doesn't matter, should be on the subscription at that point moving forward because that's going to get you all the new products so you don't fall behind. And that's how the game keeps getting made. And that's how the game, most importantly, uh, it, there has to be a certain number of subscribers for this to keep getting printed. And if we ever run below that number, it'll just stop. Uh, and of course, we'll be public with that. We'll let you guys know that that's going to happen. Surprise, like, it's hey, over. Like, we're like close to not this not being viable. Um, so just to make it simple, honestly, just pre-order whatever of the new products you want from the Plaid Hat site. And then once the upgrade pack comes out, subscribe uh, to our subscription. And then if you want to keep trying to catch up on old product, you know, a lot of times people have gaming budgets, obviously. Now, some of us don't. Uh, I'm not in that camp. Uh, Zach's a big spender, though. He he should have seen my flesh and blood. is like Christmas Eve. Um, but all that said, if you do have a budget, you know, maybe you get one of the old one of the reborn expansions once a month and then you also get the new stuff every three months and then you pick up a few more and then you get the new stuff three months later pick up a few more and then eventually you have your whole collection if that's what you want to do and i think like if you were just flat like if i were in your position totally new um the thing i would do that is different than steven is i would actually just pre-order all of the the reborn stuff so i would mm -hmm. literally corset every expand i just buy all of it Mm -hmm. And then that would come out, and then once I actually that came out, or after we charged for the subscription, I'd sign up, and then I'd have everything. And then you got everything mm -hmm. old, and then you get everything new. Yeah, and, and if, if you're borrowed, if you're on a budget, it's somewhere in the middle. But like that, 
to me, it would be like, I just want to know I have everything. I don't want it to go out of print and maybe I have to wait to get it at some point if I want it. I just want to have all the cards so I can start the game and have everything. And um, what is that? What would that cost? Any idea? I, I can tell you pretty quickly. About mm. half the price of a rare card in Flesh and Blood. <laughs> I mean, Isn't that crazy? That... In three months, okay, so $30 every three months is phenomenal. For two expansions? It is really I mean, good. That's $120 a year to have everything is a, is a good value. Um, let's see. This Ashes art is great. Get the calculator out here. All right, so it's $50 for a core set. Mm -hmm. All right, hold on, I'll calculate. One, two, three. I want to know, though. I wanna, let's, just be, let's just get real here. What's the price of an expansion? Fourteen fourteen ninety five. I'm gonna round it up. How many are there? There's thirteen that you can pre order. Okay. And then how many deluxes? Two of them? Two. Are and they both thirty? They're thirty each, yep. All right, you're at three hundred dollars. And a fifty dollar core set? Yep, with fifty. Three hundred dollars on the nose. Yeah. So you can get fully caught up for three hundred and then thirty dollars every three months moving forward. So if you wanted to if you want to be just running the math on this. That equates to $120 a year uh, to play Ashes at the fully have everything, get every card as soon as it comes out model. $120 yeah. bucks a year. And that's where, like, I, I have a long history of playing collectible card games. So, like, $300 to be caught up on three years, three or four years of content. It's like, oh, okay. Yeah. That's easy for me. Yeah, to you're spending you. more of that on these throwbacks yeah, sometimes. Yeah, it's, it's crazy. <laughs> uh, T, T Grand Arbiter saying, Zach's a man after my own heart. Nick, hilarious, saying Zach's gaming budget cuts straight into his t-shirt and haircut budget. <laughs> That's correct. <laughs> yeah, you save a lot of cash there, so you hey, can spend it everywhere yeah, else. I mean, what, is a monthly haircut $30 to $50, depending on how fancy you go? So depending like, how fancy you go and what city you live in. I'm spending my money where I want to spend it, I'll say that. <laughs> like on a gar stupid garage. Had to pay for that this morning. thousand dollars for a garage. Never buy a house. $120 for your year of Ashes. Which one's the better deal? You can play Ashes for nine years for the price that you paid to fix a stupid garage. Today. I will say, though, having a garage is very nice, <laughs> especially nice. when it's cold. And it's getting cold. Not having to, I, I realized it because it got cold a couple weeks ago for like three or four days. And I was driving by some cars that had to like uh, get ice off. The, like someone was out there getting ice off the yep. windshield. I was like, I didn't have yep. to do that. That is worth some amount of money. It's true. Now, on that note, I finally bought a nice ice scraper for the first time in my life. So like, one, is it one that has a glove on it? It's. Got... Have you seen those? <laughs> no. They, they have they have ice scrapers that are built with a thing where your hand goes in it, uh, in case you happen to not have gloves on when you're doing it. I thought it was very smart. It's funny. I mean, I'm the kind of guy that just has gloves, so that's a very little value to me. But um, it's one I'm of the those... kind of guy that forget his gloves. It's got the long, and it's got the scraper on one end and the brush on mm -hmm. one end, and you know, you look like you're in Minnesota or something. You've been a, you're an adult now. You made it. Yep. We crossed the finish line. Yep. I I thank you for that. I feel like I have finally made it. You want to play some Ashes, man? Let's do it. Uh, you can play. You can play with whatever you want. I, I have. I'm going to start with Victoria. It. Now, my my first five is disgusting. Uh, I just don't know what I'm supposed to be doing. I just don't know. I'm going to start with Mayoni. Can you give me a top down so I know where to put my cards? Yeah, let's go. Put your top down. You know, I played Midnight Club. I have all the music from Midnight Club 2 it has forever been ingrained in my head. It's like Tony Hawk's Pro Skater. I, I played a lot of Midnight Club, actually. Put your top is the, down, please. Is the middle of the shot the logo down. on that monitor? Not your top down. And then on it's the hard, corner, it's like hard for I me to tell because the, like, the camera's in the way. I don't like, care about... Oh. Is that the middle, roughly? Yeah, that looks like the middle. Jonathan printed a test pattern playmat 3 by 3 for us to use to set up the shot. It's got all of the different color spectrums. It's got brightness meters. It's got a perfect center across. He has done across it? it? Yeah, it's on the way. Really? Yeah. Man. By Jonathan doing it, I mean I'm doing it. You guys are... Uh... A different breed. Surprise. That's great. Uh, so I'm playing Mayoni. She's from the core set, and she's always been one of my favorite Phoenix Born, which I'm excited about. This is the first player token from our Arcane token set. We'll point the that thing at whoever's going first. Triangle, arrow, point. I like Jeff Smith's comment here. Gamers who double sleeve might also double glove. I don't double sleeve. My hands are not worth nearly as much as those expensive cards. <laughs> I'm, I'm, it's funny because I'm willing to spend a decent amount of money on these games, but uh, I've also, I, I like my things to be nice. I have a lot of sleeves. So 
That's true. Uh, I like my but to be nice. at the same time, it's like I pulled a really expensive card in Flesh and Blood and immediately just used it and had no qualms about it. Because I'm here to play, not to I'm, look at stuff. I'm here to play. Now, tell me something. Let's pull up this Shadow Spirit. Is there any reason to actually be playing this unit? When it's declared as an attacker, lower a die and a target opponent's active pool one level. I mean, aren't you using that unit because it costs one die? That is one reason. What up, Van? Sticking with it. Take your top down, please. <laughs> Jonathan, did you read that comment from Michigan? He said, no. living in Michigan, we get an ice scraper at five years old as a rite of passage. Wow. Yeah, I guess I would have loved to like just mess with an ice scraper. Do we see the opponent's phoenix form before we choose the first five? Yeah. Oh, right on. I'm taking this team psyche. There's a game within a game within a game. You, I previously was playing Odette with my lions and my uh, those wraiths. Those <laughs> what are they called? I love those guys. The uh, dread wraith. And you had that inversion, body inversion that just <laughs> immediately killed them. Oh yeah. You had just like the hard answer. I did that on purpose. Mm hmm. All right, I got to remember how this works. I was not happy with my first five last time. I had my first five set aside. I really got prepared last time. I can only lose so many times in a row before I start getting really serious about Doesn't it. Doesn't body inversion kill the snake instantly? What snake? The silver snake that you have to run with Mayoni? Or you don't have you to, don't but have you to. likely are. You can only run it with Mayoni. Well, have... I'm. This is going to be my first five for sure, right? That's not a question, is it? <laughs> We're good. Well, yeah, I'm going to do that. I mean, is X, X is zero, right? So, well, it becomes the printed. And on the card, it's inexhaustible. X is the number of status tokens on this unit. So if X uh, gets swapped into your life... I assume X would still be whatever X is. You think so? But if I only have one or two tokens, you still make me one life. Hmm. Or if I have zero tokens, you can immediately get rid of my snake. Yeah. Okay. We'll just kill the snake. I've got an idea. T Grand Arbiter saying it does not. I don't. What do you mean it does not? It doesn't kill the snake. That's good. Well, it might immediately, but um, once you have status tokens, it probably does. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Five three zero oh, nine, and then I need three dice to spend. Basically, I do want to get this bear out. T Grand saying it will not be killed unless it has zero tokens. I love that bear. I was I lo I love Jungle Book as a kid. Good. So is it Sleeping Bear? Is that what it's called? Yeah, Sleeping Bear. Baloo yeah. is one of my favorites. And then the Panther. Mm. You remember what the Panther was called? Panthera. Uh, yeah. Um. Hold on. I remember the snake, too. Creepy. That panther was awesome. I love that panther. I used to love, I said that I had a huge, uh, I loved giant cats, like big cats. I, I liked them up in the too. encyclopedia. Jaguar is my favorite because it could swim. Nice. Two, I didn't know that. Four, five. They're super good swimmers. It makes sense why uh, Ar Aradel has the blue jaguar, then. Because she's a water cat. Yep. You're you're not wrong. Marcus Santa missed the beginning. Was there an announcement Bagheera. for the new, yes, thank you. new Ashes release date? Uh, current expectation is January. Nice. Yeah, I remember, um, I think it was third or fourth grade, they had those little, like, three to five page pamphlets about different animals. Do you remember those? They were, yeah, like, the animated. highlights or whatever yeah. it was. Yeah, the zoo. And you had to, like, do, like, a report. Yeah, it was sick. Um, I remember the ones I was super excited about was the Great White Shark. The... Mm -hmm. Uh, Bingle, the Bingle Tiger, the White Tiger. I also really like dolphins. That was a thing I liked for a long time. Very nice. Zebras, because start with a Z, they're black and white. They're horses. Zebras. Zebras Zebra, are still zebra cool. stuff. They're, they're horses that, that are ready for a, a fancy time. I'm not... <laughs> fancy horses. They are. They got the pinstripes, dude. They're ready to roll. T. Grand, uh, it seems like someone who's good at ashes from the commentary I'm seeing here. Yeah, Sam, didn't T. Grand, don't you build the you build ashes live, right? And then no. we established that early. Is that what we established? I thought we established that it's not really. I didn't know we had like, precedent for that. Well, yeah. I've been watching Suits, which is all about lawyers, so I have uh, the lawyer vernacular. I'm going to file for a dismissal. Yeah, I think um, it's about summoning Shadow Hound. I think Open Memories doubles up the Shadow Hound. Um, T. Grand does not. He was just saying that, that team is working on it. And then I get to do one damage basically for the rest of the game. I feel like that's really important. 
But again, like I said, the top five, my deck is not built well for this. So I, I'm, I'm not in a good spot here. I don't believe Shifting Mist is it. I, you know, it's that card gamer understanding. I haven't run out of my deck yet. So until I run out of my deck, this card can't be right. Yeah, because you spend a die to be able to change dice. I could, I'd rather just pitch cards to change dice. Yeah. Um, particularly I, when I have a reroll ability on I, my main I hero. I feel like that card was much more uh, valued in the first edition of the game. Let's get a new ready spell. Is this your stack of ready spells? There's a ready, like a, that goes on your spell board? That's yes. Spell. So there's... Um, Not summonies, but... This is summon, allies, action spell discard. That's the... Nice. Yeah. Look at you go, man. You wrecked this thing. And then if, if there are proxies, they should be on top of the card. So like if you... That's the actual card. Um, but you'll get to a printed card in a minute. Man, you know, you could really... There's so many directions to go here. Huh. I feel like I need one. This is where the game is won, is you you have these ready spells that don't... This is how you pilot your deck. Your ready spells that aren't conjurations tells you everything you need to know about what you're going to be up to. Okay. So Pert just has you discard cards. I refuse to do the mill thing. Although in this game, it feels a little bit better. It's still scary. But... T. Grand saying, wait, go back. Go back to what? Resummon? Anyone that is hip and with it on the new Ashes Reborn that has recommendations for ready spells for Steven, now would be a good time. T. Grant saying spores might be good. Yeah, spores might be good. I mean, yeah, and I'm not going to attack two snakes, although that is super funny. I, I recognize how funny that is. Uh, a lot of fear. This is all angel stuff. This is all music stuff. All ceremonial stuff. Dark presence. Blocked or guarded against me. So the attack value. Then reduce the attack value of one. Can't be blocked or guarded against. When would that matter? Cannot be blocked or guarded against, like the sleeping bear. That would that would make that a thing. Uh, or doesn't the shadowhound already have that? He's good. Cannot be targeted by, cannot be guarded against. So it can be blocked if you're attacking a Phoenix form, but you can't unit guard against it. Huh. Maybe maybe it's Dark Presence, man. Maybe I'll put that in there. That seems like a genuinely just nice ability. What's it? Where, where'd it be? Uh, hold on, let me pull it out here. Yeah, I'm going to do that. So that. That basically is the same. It costs one mass to play, so it's going to be the same... Same thing here. Dark presence is what we're looking at here. And then... <laughs> That's a good card. Yeah, makes stuff terrifying. That's a really good card. Now, it only means I can't do it with health life or strength one stuff, right? Strength one stuff. It doesn't say... Yes, strength one. Yeah, terrifying one. So attack value of one or less. So that does seem generically good. I'm just going to put one in here. I don't think it's good for this matchup particularly, but it's just replacing shifting this. I don't know, dude. Uh, Those guilders. My guilders. It does shut down guilders, which is cool. <laughs> yeah. It does shut down guilders. Okay. So this is going to be my first five. This is 10 dice. Now, the first five gets a lot cooler now because you don't have to worry about the fact that they can remove dice from your pool. So your first five is a lot more open. Yeah. The whole game is more open. I, I like that so much. Oh, yeah, I, I need to remember. I think I'm just on... I think one of the things I did was cut down to two dice types in all my decks. Nice. You know, I'm seeing things now. This is probably how Illusion plays. So imagine body inversion. I definitely didn't. Imagine body inversion into a focus one shadow hound that does one damage. So that means anything with one life can it can kill anything with one attack. It can invert and kill. Yeah. This is the kind of stuff that's getting me excited, man. This is a great game. I love that we're going to be able to just deck build and have a... We're in the freaking money right now. We've got... The LCG. 
competitive LCG I, in quotation marks. Ashes, one of the best, if not the best, and it's only going to get better. The the new design principles are killer. We've got the the cooperative LCGs are absolutely crushing it right now. Marvel Champions and Arkham Horror, absolutely devastating. Flesh and Blood, one of the best TCGs I've ever played. It looks like it might actually go the distance. We're having an incredibly good time with it. Go in the distance. Absolutely incredible. Traditional miniatures game, Marvel Crisis Protocol. Hello. I mean, does it get any better than that? All your Marvel stuff, they're pumping All the out models. Coming out this week. The game is great. Then we've got on the uh, board game mashup card game kind of taking all of the things that we love and pushing them all together it's with like a sky terror postmodern post miniatures game it is it's like that skirm let's call it a real skirmish game in the sense that it's not as demanding it's not pre uh, it's pretty assembled miniatures um, you have a grid that you're working on no tape measure so it's like a new age miniatures card game sky terror i mean yep. like the best of every category is available right now, I feel like. It's just so good. I definitely haven't... We just need to start role-playing more. That's the last category. I, I haven't been this engaged across this many games all at once. Ever. It's, it's really crazy. That's pretty impressive. And it's so true. And that doesn't count the uh, immense catalog of throwbacks we've been visiting. Which are also wonderful. And like... Each of those throwbacks represents an entirely new experience to explore. That's the trouble. It's like I, I get a taste of it, and it's like, like after we played 7C, random, random oh example, gosh, I was good. like, ah, and I went online. I was like, I'll buy all these singles so the next time we maybe play, uh, we can build actual decks. It happened. At some point, we'll 7C again. And At some fun. point, that game's going to come back. I'm certain of that. It's, it's one of those that's just floating. Arr. It's ready. All right, here's Victoria. What kind of dice you run on? I'm like, we need to up the contrast. I'm going to do that after the stream and figure this out. Okay, that's a great question, Zach. I'm glad you asked. Um, and if I run into cards that... Uh, I'll let you change them. Yeah. Probably four of those at least. Probably two there, two there, six here. If I were guessing, I don't know how many What hearts. do you need in your first hand? Definitely. Heart. One heart. To nature, and all the rest is illusion. Let's just go there. I think I ran only one heart. Okay, you don't have any two heart cards in there? I'm almost certain I don't. I don't think I would have done that. Oh, Ophelia. I listen to a lot of Dolly Parton. Really? Yeah. There was a really great podcast series on her. I remember it. This, you know what? Is this where all your positivity came, came from? Because she's saying... I remember you talking about her being just like very wholesome. Maybe. Maybe it is. I don't know. The, do the old dolly effect. I'm and like, receptive. I guess I draw to you. Like someone cards. would be like, hey, here's the thing you're doing. She's like, once I knew it was offending someone, I changed my ways. Yeah. Yeah. She's great. She's a great lady. Northern Lights saying, good evening. The latest podcast was really interesting. I remember the moment when my near complete collection of the Lord of the Rings trading card game was not worth anything anymore when the game was discontinued. Sad times. It would be worth a lot now. That's the crazy thing about these TCGs. Who would have thunk? All right, play some matches. Basic symbols, which most is basic. the diamond. One, two. It's the lowest symbol, so if you do the worst on your initial roll, the worst, then you get to go first, right? That's right. And then it'll switch back and forth forever after that. Meantime, I got a good roll. Oh, so you got to watch me, because I will accidentally flip these dice to different sides, and then sometimes not accidentally. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. <laughs> I always knew you were a cheat. So, so you're first, so we'll point the arrow at you. All right, I'm going to start out with a body inversion side action. Boo. And then uh, we're going to do open memories as my main. Spend a heart. And a basic. And then uh, search your draw pile for a card and put it in your hand. Is there a reason you didn't just start with whatever card you're getting from that? I'm doubling up a conjuration. Oh, yep. That, I remember. That's exactly why I used to do that. To get yeah. my uh, things focused. Yeah. I was. I, yeah. In my head, I was there like, why did I ever play that? <clears throat> there was a light saying, hey, what's the big token that you guys are using? It is the first player token in our arcane token set, which you can find on our website. Compatible with Ashes. Compatible with Ashes, right? I think we can be say whatever we want at this point because, like... It's owned by Plaid Hat exclusively, and I don't think Colby is going to have an issue with us saying that these are these are intended to play with Ashes. Are the they are intended to be played with Ashes? Yes. They're but not they official, are not officially though. Ashes. They're game. not sponsored. They don't. They don't. We're not using any of their assets. 
It's all original work. All right, spell board. Complete. Right. Mine. Yeah. Moin. Moin, Moin. Okay. Let's play Summon Gilder. Cost me a heart and an action. And then side action. I will play an Empower. It's a side action and a basic. Let me see. Three. I'm going to calculate those dollary dues. I'll spend this basic. Uh, and it's your turn. Thanks. Let's go uh, play a Summon Shadowhound as my main action. And let's meditate a die to a big boy. <clears throat> Is the lion the big side? Mm -hmm. That's a pretty tasty reroll for Victoria. It's good. I just don't know. I just don't. I don't. I don't know enough. Let's play a holy knight, lion, angel, times two, and a basic. Goodness gracious! Impenetrable. This unit cannot be affected by spells, abilities, or dice powers used by an opponent. That is not the accurate version. That's oh, the old thank version. Goodness. I haven't seen a five attack in this game yet. Why don't I have... Oh, I know why. What a beautiful card. It's because this is like one of my favorite pieces of art and cards, so I have it in multiple decks, and I, only, I need to print more of these. Yeah. There you go. Mm, much better. I'll mm. take three damage. Yeah, it was a five before. It's like, what? <laughs> and just can't be targeted by spells, but everything else is on mm -hmm. the table. Don't forget, Mayoni's uh, ability is a side action exhaust two basics. Choose an unexhausted unit I control. Deal damage to a target unit equal to its attack value. Mm. Unit, target unit. E unit. Okay. So I can side action spin to deal this to something and then also go for you. Okay. Um, See main action here. Snakes are the big boys too, huh? Snakes? Mm-hmm. I'm gonna pass oh, yeah. I'll pass the side action. Yeah. My snake dies for the big boys, I get you. Um we will action exhaust. Spin a leaf. Get a gilder. No, you know what? I'm gonna wait on that. Because it does a damage when it comes in. I need to wait until you're... I do a damage whenever I play the Shadowhound. So you need to play the Gilder so that I can play two Shadowhounds and, and get rid of it. Please. I'll play a Summon Silver Snake. Here it is. Would that cost you? Nothing? Just an action to play it. But I don't get to summon anything yet. What a game we're playing here. Body invert this. It's funny. You actually can't, but even if you could, it wouldn't do it. That's right. Mayoni's ability is so, By the basics, way, right? the Holy Knight now has magic armor, so it can't be targeted by your spells. Yeah. But everything else can target it. Now. I'm going to target it. And this is a spell, obviously, body inversion is spell name. Okay, well, I think, uh, you know. Mm, I did. I spent uh, too many dice on that because it was the old one. Oh, right, right an extra one. Very nice. Yeah, the Holy Knight got cheaper. Your math get better? Yeah. I was like, I don't know why I started with all these cards in my hand, but here we are. So basically, we're playing a little game of when do you exhaust that Holy Knight, right? Because the moment you exhaust it, you can't use Mayoni's ability. But the moment I play a unit is the moment you exhaust it. It's a little chicken, so, except for I got a unit out. So Summon False Demon, coming into play. Now, I may have an answer here. Yeah, that would be an ability, right? That is an ability. So you can't summon the Shadowhound, or you can't target the Shadowhound with it. With this? Yeah, because he's immune to everything, because he's concealed. He's nothing but a shadow. OK. Let's meditate for one. So turn this into a frog. I'm going to spend a frog and a snake. 
to exhaust and get a silver snake. You're just asking me to kill that, aren't you? <laughs> I sure am. Why, though? Why? Because you don't want me to invert your gilder? Is that what you're talking? Is that what's going on here? I couldn't tell you. You could. You sure could. Mistakes were made. That's cool. I'm learning, dude. So I'm just going to invert that. So you're saying it was a mistake in that in that I'm that not... was not the mistake. Okay. Okay. The mistake was what I spent my dice on when. Oh, do you still have the ability over there? Yeah. Yeah. Let's invert it. I mean, I just don't. Let's not worry about it. Golden veil. Cancel it. Oh my gosh. Side action exhaust. Spend a mask. It's canceled. Okay. Now we got a main action. My snake's ready. <laughs> okay. What up, Ray Ray? That's a side action to do that. So you can side action and then attack the unit. Cause all sorts of trouble. Shadowhound is a pretty good bet here. It's such a good bet. I've done a, I've done a pretty good job here. I'm proud of myself, aren't you? <laughs> Oh, you got that recover too, though. That's a bit of a bummer. We're back again to Zach's beefy boys. <laughs> you know, I'm seeing a trend here. Where's I that? Have the beef. Where's that stupid gilder already? Does it? You can't even play it. I can't play it. That was a mistake I made. Oh, great. Okay. So, let's start. I spent this basic for no reason. Let's start by summoning this to here, Shadow Hound. Coming in. <laughs> Lanky saying, Zach, we're in the Golden Vale. Noise. Why do I come empathizing with you saying, no? Mm. Boom. Uh, because I have focus one on summon Shadow Hound, I can deal the damage to a target unit when it comes into play. Um, this is the question, isn't it? Recover three on the snake? What is wrong with you? He's a beefy boy. Mm-hmm. Okay. Let's throw it here. That's it. No side. Well, let me see if I need... Yep, no side. What is this boost now? Is it one across the board? Aren't they at plus one attack on that and minus one attack on the charm? Is it just attack? I think we just... Can you pull up, Jonathan or Bryce, whoever, can you pull up the... Uh... Oh, can't target the Holy Knight. Mm, because yeah. it's technically a spell. Yep. Oh, no. <laughs> Nothing's changed if you want to rewind it back. Flip drop, reverse it. Flip drop. Well, the problem is there's really nothing else I can do. Excellent. I mean, I'll put... I guess I'll put it on Snake Man. Is. Why wouldn't you? Maxwell Silverhammer? Yeah. And then, uh, is it one attack? Can you pull up uh, Production uh, Man, the Charm dice card, dice ability? I'm going to squint my way through it. See Ooh, if I can that read is going to be some serious squinting. I'll get it. Okay. Everybody who can read that. No, um, we need the Divine. Well, well, it's the opposite though, isn't it? Just the opposite. Pull, yeah. Do the we divine. Have the new one. Do the divine power card. Divine uh, dice powers, rather. T Grand saying is charm is minus one attack. I think Great, the divine you. is plus one attack. It's got to be plus one attack. Yeah, you wouldn't possibly do yeah. both. And so I cannot target the shadow hound with Mayoni's ability, right? That's correct. It's an ability. Set it yourself, man. I'm gonna up, up the eye so you can I don't like this. Sorry, you guys are going to have a little, Max, a little dizziness for a second. On our hands. OK, 
Okay, so you can't summon another Shadowhound, but you could summon a False Demon. Yeah, that makes me want to rethink my dice. I think two Shadowhounds, if I'm going to summon it first turn, is pretty strong. Oh, yeah. Uh, I'll pass. Hmm. So you're going to send Mayoni in front of anything that I do. Right? Absolutely. And what does guard mean? Units can't block for it. It can't be unit guarded, but you can uh, block with your Phoenix Born. Maybe not. I think, didn't we decide that... I thought, maybe, I don't think I can stop that, actually. We need to figure out our, our parlance. I think anytime something's attacking a Phoenix Born, it's called blocking, if you get in front of it. Anything attacking a unit is called guarding. Oh! So I do not think my Phoenix Born can guard that Shadowhound attack. It can't. So do you want to do anything differently before mm -hmm. you pass? You just want to take it in the mouth? Right to the teeth? I mean, I guess... This will do something with something. Maybe. That's right. Chronos on it, yeah. Block is when the Phoenix Morn is attacked. Guard is when he is attacked. Let's uh, side action for plus one and swing it, Vic. That's clever. And units can always uh, block for Phoenix Born, right? Mm -hmm. And then I can counter, we do three to each other, poof. Yeah? Right. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to block and counter. When you leave play. Oh no, what happens? I get a status token. Oh, right. Gobble, gobble, gobble. Dump, 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 dump. This is a 1 1 now. Huh? Yep. Well, it's a 1 4 3. But it's a one attack. Yeah. yeah. All right. Um, main action, summon the false demon. Lies. I'm playing a burn deck here. What have we become? <laughs> when it comes into play, deal the damage to an exhausted unit. That one. Just not exhausted. Oh, right. He's statist. Uh, I mean, uh, 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 <clears throat> <clears throat> Okay, fine. There's the bear. Here comes the bear. Sleeping bear coming onto the oh, battlefield. Wait, you didn't pay for this though, right? You should have those back. I didn't pay for that. That's right. Here comes the bear. Do 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 do. Cronus, what are you saying? Could have put the die on the snake. What's that mean? I like could that have put die? the die on the snake? Yeah, you can do that. Pass. This game has gotten better. <laughs> Way better. Huh. Hmm. Hmm. So, you attack the silver snake. No, yeah, you wouldn't, yeah. All right, so let's put the false demon in. There's no, no, you're not going to, I mean. I'm not rather, going to do it. I'd rather. Okay. Uh, I'm not going to do any damage to an exhausted unit. So 2-2 two, two on the false demon. No cards left? No resources none, left? none cards, none resources. All right, let's load up the snake. And then swing. Uh, it doesn't really matter. Uh, Victoria. All right. You got it. Take two? Mm-hmm. I don't think there's any reason to block that, right? I swing two back at you. 20 to 18. So if you block, the thing that's good for me is the snake gets to eat you. That's, that's exactly right. That's why I didn't do it. Yeah. <laughs> False demon on Mayoni. Uh -huh. You knew you shouldn't do it. You just... I don't think you 100% knew why. <laughs> yeah. I was like, well, either it takes damage, and I, I have more health, so like, we either swap damage, or he loses a unit, and I gain a token. So that's way better for Sometimes me. you got to play by feel, you know? All right, end of the round. This flips. I made some big mistakes. Mm. Not unrecoverable. See, the crazy thing, you could play this first turn out 20 times. That's what I was saying. And, like, you just do this 20 it. times and yeah. figure out how you need to make your way yeah. through this experience. All right. 
So end of the round, we remove exhaustion, we do recovery, so my snake's gonna heal. We draw, you roll, and then you can choose which cards to keep if you had any. It's a notably worse roll. Mine's notably good. Well, that's notably good for you. <laughs> Notable. Draw your cards. Do you guys, Terry Fuller, do you guys see this as a major candidate for the projected April 2020 return to organized play? Does Plaid Hat want this game to have a strong organized play? Yeah, they are interested in organized play, for sure, in some capacity. We don't know what that's going to look like. Um, we'll certainly do our best to facilitate in whatever way it is. I know a lot of it, because it is PDP, um, is basically let's give players the tools to host events and, and, and do bigger... Uh, like convention events and bigger like regional events. So we'll see what they end up with. I'm, I'm pretty amped to find out, honestly. All right, first player. Let's go, Barbie. Let's go party. Let's go. I'm going to summon Gilder. It's been a week. Getting my favorite and yours, a Gilder. We'll do a damage to the False Demon. From that spell. Then side action. Let's. Don't have that frog. Need that frog. Frog that demon right off the board. Um. Let me see. Do I need to do that? Let's spend two and exhaust Maoni. And I'll deal one damage to the false demon. Oh my. This is excellent. Okay. Gobble, gobble. I have a response. Okay. I'm going to play copycat. Play it after an opponent resolves an extra spell or activated Phoenix Born ability. Resolve a copy of it without paying its play cost. Four damage from the bear to the snake. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> wow. For one? That's so good! <laughs> ah, all my it's work! So it's so good. <laughs> ah. Oh my gosh. I got nothing. Wow. Hmm. That's pretty good. That's really good. Wow. Wow. Zero is nine, LOL. <laughs> yeah, that's all you can say, right? Um, I'm going to slap it while I got it, man. Now, there, the smart money says you hold the bear uh, so that you can't summon a snake without shenanigans. Jeremy says, wait, without paying its play cost? Yeah, yeah. that's crazy. Yeah. 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 I'm totally with you on that. That's all right. I'll just keep wrecking. Um... Shadowhound coming into play, courtesy of three masks. And we're going to do one damage to the Gilder. Side action. Mm -hmm. um, none. Got everything I need. I think Victoria may be generically great. <laughs> twenty twenty, generically great. <laughs> wow. I mean, the funny thing is, like, 
that's so good in this exact situation where I happen to have a, the biggest unit, one of the biggest units in the game, unexhausted, and your ability happens to play exactly the way it needs to yeah, into a poor into health it. unit. I think I'm just building decks to beat you. It might be true. This is the gauntlet, you know. This is how you really get good at a game. You just let people build against your decks specifically. Let me think about this. Hmm. I think it was copycat on Mione Viper's ability, Command Strike. I'm going to go side action and a basic to play an another copy of Empower. And then I'll pass. <clears throat> hmm. Well, well, well. What do we have here? You got that snake. Let's find out what happens here. All right, Shadowhound number two. Hit that gilder. You got him. Pass the side action. Mine? Mm-hmm. Nature shaft. No oh. damage to all units. Oh, no, don't do it. Wait, it can't be targeted. Wait, it's not targeting, is it? Mm. Oh, no, no! <laughs> <laughs> I set myself up for failure. And then your action. Okay. Okay. Hmm. If I take four now, you get a snake, right? Isn't that how we're viewing mm -hmm. this? So I'm going to piddle around for a little bit. But I saw the inversion. No, can't invert anymore. You out. The bear is the way. I'm going to play a summon shadow spirit. Okay. I'm going to charm your pants off. Your action. I'm at minus one? Mm hmm. Interesting. For the end of the turn? Yep. Till the end of the turn? Mm -hmm. Not the round? Same thing. Uh, the end of the round, actually, not turn. So for the rest until we reshuffle, mm -hmm. rego. Really? Mm -hmm. That's annoying. <laughs> Book Hunter ripped to almost his entire board. Gone, but never forgotten. All right, well, I'll take it now, then. Three? Yeah. You got it. Bear on Manny. Uh, no side action. I'm going to meditate three times. Hmm. Your turn. That's it? Mm -hmm. I wish I had that ability now for Victoria. I don't want to run out of the... Uh, I don't want to run out of uh, uh, illusion dice. That's, that's a bad, bad situation. Um, okay, you know what? How about some of this then? Let's play Change Psyche. Remove an exhaustion token from a unit. It's this one. I'm going to pay a heart and a basic. And then side action. I'll flip this to a frog. Fine. Yeah. Charm you. I think you can only have oh, one. one per. Yeah. All right. I'll pass. You don't even want to bring that snake out? Can't. Oh, you don't have the dice for it? Oh, my. <laughs> it's a free run, ladies and gentlemen. Three Take on three. Yeah, your face. <laughs> oh, my. The nail in the coffin. He's on fire. Can't buy a bucket. <laughs> um, 
Well, sir, I'll pass the side action. Pass. Pass. This flips. This is a problem. Can have that back, yeah. Recovered. Recovered. Oh, we roll and then we choose. Yep. That's what I needed. Masks for days. Um. Discard that guy. Okay. Over to me. Well, swing for four. You got it. And then side action. <laughs> <laughs> um, according to the cards that I have here, I'm going to meditate. Meditate to two wolves. For no particular reason. No reason at all. Mine? Yeah. I'm going to focus my summon silver snake. What does that do? Now my snake come in with a status token. Still takes four to kill it though, right? Sure does. This bear is a problem. I agree. Let's unfocus it. My, my. <laughs> Yours. Change psyche is what that is. Sorry, Bryce. Yeah. You ain't sleeping no more. Focus it again. Mm. Snap. <clears throat> All right, let's summon a Shadow Spirit. Shadow Spirit, here we go. When it's a Quidditch attack, I can lower a die one level. I'm going to summon a Gilder and do a damage. No, let's wait. I need to get my snake out first. <laughs> I get it. Let's focus. Oh, I got to focus that one. Here. Spend these. Get my silver snake. It comes in with three status tokens. Oof. Three? Let's focus twice. With two. Sorry. Yeah. So two, four, eh? Mm hmm. But you can summon it three times, right? If you wanted to. Yeah. So even if I kill this one, it'll come back. It'll come back. And then if I kill that one, it'll come back. And then if I kill that one, it'll come back. Um, let's see. Do you block? No. You can't. You can't. You can't. Hey. <clears throat> Well, let's send the Shadow Spirit at Mayoni. What's it worth? What's it worth, blah? Um, I'll take two. And then uh, lower something important. Uh, no, I hate that lion die. Put it to a basic thing. Or put it to an angel. Angel. <laughs> Lions to angels. Are you an angel? <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Annie. Okay. Uh, mine? Yeah. Let's summon a gilder. Do a damage there. Get a free status token. Not free. You worked for it. And then... Let's charm the bear to a three. Mm-hmm. Maxwell Silverham came down on his head. One, two, three, four. I've got five slots. It's good. 
It's very good. <clears throat> Mm -hmm. All right. Um, so you might just eat said bear. Makes hungry. Yeah, respectable. Respectable. All right. Um, let's... Summon Shadow Spirit. Let's play another copy of that. And then... Let's do a little uh, body inversion on that Gilder. Get a stash token on the snake? Mm-hmm. You didn't invert it. The Silver Snake ate it. Nom, 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 nom. I'm the one that did it. All right. I uh, agree, Wyoming Scum. You should get two status tokens if you eat a bear. I agree. <laughs> when he's man, he's ability. Mm, Side nice. action yeah. will be four there. You can copycat it and do three. Actually, I couldn't. I think it's after you resolve it fully. Mm. So you can have your die back. Gain my token. We're in business now, boys. <laughs> Meets back on the menu. Uh, yeah, and then I'll swing for five. All right. Take it. <laughs> what do you got to do to summon that thing? You got a snake and a frog? You can't know, do you're it. You're all out of frogs. So what Man's got me, frogs. I had my opening hand that uh, Holy Knight, and mm -hmm. I was looking at the old one. Right. So I thought I needed four of these out to you be able to do what I want to do. I need, more, I need a third nature, yeah. absolutely. But this is why we play. Because we go into shadows, baby. Discard an exhausted unit. Don't you golden veil that. You don't have the, the lion. Don't you need a lion to golden veil? You need a snake. Oh. But I don't have it. Ah, right. That's I did have action. I did have uh, something else, though. And then this would be two, three, four. And you're at 14. And then main action. These are wrong die. Main action, let's go here. Hmm, this was apparently on the bear. You just gave it back to me. Oh, right. <laughs> Very kind. Uh, two dice on the false demon. Mm -hmm. Mine? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna meditate this to a snake. Why would you do that? I have to ask myself that, right? Why Perhaps. would you do that? I'm going to swing for two at Manny. We got it. Four left. Mm-hmm. Pass. Mm. Can't do that yet. Probably need to do 11. I got this. Yeah, right? Easy. I pay the fool who don't know that. <laughs> <laughs> let's play Dark Presence. Mm. Just because I need to do some kind of main action. And then let's meditate this up to a wolf. Pass. Shadow Spirit. Charmed. Mm. Swing for one. You got it. Um, we done here? We're not done yet. Uh, let's go ahead and meditate three times. We're in yet a deck. That's fine. This next round is it anyway. Okay, I'm passing all all around. I'll pass. Okay. Move these. Roll these back in. Shouldn't? Oh wait, yeah, seventeen, right? Man, my math, it's amazing. You're doing the math in those charm dice. Ah. It's like, ah, I'm two away. Surely oh I can God. make this happen. Okay. 
You're first player now, right? Mm-hmm. All right. I roll back in. I will meditate. Two. Mm. Here we go. Snake. Frog. <laughs> and then I will exhaust a snake and a frog, and we'll get a silver snake. Two tokens on it. Mm-hmm. I need three or four nature dice, and it's unbelievable how <laughs> obvious it is. Now it's apparent. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, that's going to be the deciding factor there, isn't it? Um, we'll pull up some in Silver Snake so you can see the cost while we're Let's do... Let's bring Flash Archer in. And that's going to be two, probably a basic and a basic. I'm going to do two damage there. And then I'm going to side action on the body inversion. Mm. Flip it. Mm -hmm. That's a problem. All right. Let's actually, wait. No. You get that veil? Yeah, I sure do. Get out of here. Cancel it. Duh. Mm -hmm. Saying your mama's basketball. Oh, wait, that's not a come into play effect. A Hold on a action. second. Yeah, yeah. Hold oh, yeah, you can't Hold do any of this. Back that up. So play the Flash Archer. Mm -hmm. And then. Deal two. No, it doesn't. This is a side action double shot. Totally, totally was not on that on that train. And then as a side action. Um... I don't have Golden Veil. Nothing. Do nothing. Now I got to do some business. You got work to do, you know. But we got we got it. We got the business. You got work. Now what I could do oh, for the remainder of the turn, okay? So that that doesn't work. Am I still golden? Yeah, yeah, you're golden. All right, I will. I can't tell you how many leaves I need. Oh, man, it's just nothing but leaves. You have no clue. We're going to play again. I'm going to need more leaves. <laughs> Get this man some leaves. Get this man some leaves. It's embarrassing. <laughs> so bad. Let me... Let me, no. Okay, I guess this is what I'll do. I will play a Gilder, do a damage there, mm -hmm. get a status token. It's easy eating. And then I will side action with Mayoni for two basics. And my snake will do three damage there. Three damage there, huh? Mm-hmm. Okay. All right, all right, all right, all right. Here you come. Okay. Big snake. <laughs> Literally, I think I might need four or five <laughs> leaves for the... Because this is a leaf, this is a leaf, this is a leaf. Give this man all the leaves. I have to have three leaves, just use the cards here. Let alone the cards in my hand. I think it's four leaf. And with the new Holy Knight, I only need two. Yeah, that's exactly what you do. <laughs> I'm glad we're playing, though. This is good. I feel like 
I understand this game so much better. Yeah, me too. How's everyone in chat land doing? Iro saying these decks are basic core setters or some cast. These are definitely uh, deck Across. they're custom built from the entire collection. All right, let's do a massive growth on this false demon. Something I wanted to say my whole life. Plus four, plus four. Gross. <laughs> and make a big demon. I'm going to make a big demon out of you. <laughs> and then... Hmm. That's really the question. Let's meditate... Let's meditate to you. I've seen the sleeping bears disappear. Yeah, right. All right, over to you. Maxwell Silva. All right. I... I'm going to play a Hypnotize. Mm-hmm. What happened? Uh, I can side action, spend two hearts, choose a target unit I control to gain the following ability for the remainder of the turn, which is it can't be blocked. Okay. Um, so I won't do that, but I'm just going to play that down. It cannot be blocked or guarded. Okay. Yeah. So you can swing in a unit as you like, or you can swing it as Phoenix Born as you like. Mm-hmm. Now, knowing your limitations right now, you cannot play another Silver Snake. Am I correct in understanding that? That's correct. Sure enough. So Smart Money says, if I were to swing at said Silver Snake... I can block for it. Assuming that the Gilder is on the table. Mm-hmm. But if My Phoenix Born can also block. Yes, but then you're dead. That's taking six. So I don't think you'll do that one. I don't think you'll do that one. Okay, so I think the way this math is... Oh, I needed to do this differently. Hold on. Whoop. Whoop. Cheater! I'm doing it. The goggles did nothing. Yeah, it's that basic off the massive growth. I didn't I realize him. I actually needed that die. So, if we do this swing, that well, you're in a you're in a tight spot. I've been in a tight spot. Yeah, yeah, it's been great. <laughs> it's been great. All right. Um, side action, dark presence. Mm-hmm. Uh, unit you control cannot be it has terrifying one so it cannot be blocked or guarded against by attack by one or less mm -hmm. and then swing at uh, uh, so it cannot be blocked or guarded by one or less so we'll swing at Mayoni because you got to throw the silver stake in front of it or lose I suppose and I'm all okay with that I guess it's amazing I was literally or looking... swing at the silver snake I mean I could block here still right but you, you would die. Yeah. So we'll it's just swing, let's swing a silver snake. That's fine. It's amazing. Snake it. All right, you're attacking here officially. Mm -hmm. It's amazing because I was literally looking at this card all game. You're like, how does this work? No, I knew how it worked. I was just like, when would I ever <laughs> need this card? And here's what I need it. So I'm going to block with my honey. You're going to prevent all the damage? No. But what I am going to do is play Redirect mm, nice. with a snake. And I can take all this damage and pile it on my Gilder. Dump it on the Gilder, right on. So Gilder goes away, this happens, and all the damage is... But because I was literally like, I could just block with the Gilder. Why would I... And then you literally had the thing... Well, I'm, I'm showing you the power of your cards. Yeah, thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. So now it's mine. Mm -hmm. And now I really don't need to worry about... Who's on first? What's on second? What a tangled web we weave. Hmm. 
Yeah, sure. Let's boost the snake. Boosted. And I'll swing for six. You got me. Five and one. Thirteen? Thirteen. Hello. I'm making a game of it, I'll say that. I feel like... Yeah. I, I feel like... I, I see all the things I'm doing wrong. No. I just don't know how to prevent them from happening in the first place. I don't know what cards you could possibly have. Only the good ones. Um, let's place a Shadow Spirit. <laughs> and then, <Mine? laughs> let's side action. <laughs> I guess I'll just pump this to the max here. Okay. To snakes. Snakes and wolves. All right. Mine skis? Oh, let's drop you a die. No, wait, we don't drop. We don't have to drop you a die. It's when it's attacking. Yep, yeah, yours. All right, let's go. Meditate. You got one of them allies. Definitely doing this. And probably this. Yeah, I'll meditate to the snake. And then I'm going to play Refresh. Mm -hmm. I'll spend a heart and a basic and remove this exhaustion. Mm-hmm. You're going to eat my Shadow Spirit. Oh, you can make it unblockable? How much are you doing here? Is that game? 13? Yeah, that would be game. <laughs> <laughs> now, I can't make it unblockable because that would cost me two resources. Good. I will tell you that in... Uh, so I can block with the Shadow Spirit. Nothing weird that I... That, that, on the board, at least, that yeah. would change the game here. Well, um, so I need to defend here. Would you even do that? That's a good question. That's a great question. Maxwell Silverham I came down. All right, let's. Um, we can meditate from the board, right? Yep. Them spells were made for walking. <laughs> okay. Well, boy, there's two different ways to go about this. Let's meditate. It's either the hound or the demon. It's scary. Or it could be the inversion. Maybe that's right. We're probably past that. We might be past that point. Now, it is a really good it is way a gilder, to... Yeah. gilder killer. I'm going to discard one summon shadow hound. Uh, and then play... Oh, no, wait, that wouldn't solve my problem. I need a spellboard slot, basically, is what I'm looking at. Mm -hmm. You can meditate both of them, Ole. No, gross. <laughs> Shadow Hounds are good. Yeah. All right, let's get the False Demon out of here. Who needs him, even though he's just wrecking and play Secret Door. And that's one mass. Choose a target you control with a life value of one. It cannot be blocked for the remainder of the turn. So go with Shadow Spirits, particularly if I'm going first next turn. I have to find a way. Um, sure. I'll swing at you. Black. Gobble, gobble. I love that snake just keeps getting bigger. Let's remove an exhaustion with change psyche. Ah. You're what, six? Mm-hmm. Hmm. hmm. <laughs> I'll make you minus one. Swing. <laughs> Bury me. <laughs> All right, I need that again. I just have to run the right dice. Yeah, 100%. Um, let's see. Questions about the subscription. So 
with a subscription, you're not buying anything, right? So a subscription is essentially, a, I want these pro I want you to charge me for future products and send them to me. That's what a subscription is. Um, so you sign up, and then every future Ashes product that comes out two weeks before the release date, we charge you whatever that product costs, and we ship it to you. And it usually arrives on release day or maybe a day after. Um, we ship it ahead of release schedule to do that. So um, that's the way a subscription with, functions. With Ashes, though, uh, at least in the territories where we're serving them, uh, we are the release date. We are the release date. I am the Senate. I am the Senate. I'm too weak. Yeah, that was a great game, wasn't it, Philip? I'm surprised I made it. It became evident. I had three spells that required nature on the table. Yeah. And you're then I'm sitting there like, I just want to change this so bad. I've been in that situation where you're like, this is so ineffective. Yeah. But I need to change it. It It's good to know. And that's I'm excited to get to the point where I'm familiar with my decks and your decks, mm -hmm. and we're playing. I feel like there's a high level of play available in Ashes if you know what's going on. It obviously goes super deep, super, super, super deep. And honestly, just jamming out the same decks over and over is really helpful. That's what I want to be doing right now. Good games, good games. It was tough. It got really tough to close that one out. I mean, if you had had the right dice, it's like, oh. I mean, I got, there was a couple of just like, I had the exact right card. And I there were, side note, there were a few moments because of my dice restrictions where if you had just leaned into the illusion side of things, I was just, I was sitting there looking at it like, if he just waits, I have a problem. If you like spin my dice down. Oh, really? Because mm -hmm. hmm. I would have to then spin mine up and pass. Oh, because you needed to have them for side actions? Yeah. Nice. Well, I've, I don't know about all that. Let me tell you, though, this Sleeping Bear, that's a card. I love the Sleeping Bear. Five out of five stars. Five would, out of five would bears. Would play again. Yeah. <laughs> I think that Shadowhound's good. I'll probably stay with the same opening. Um, now, you could also do a little opening where you grab a double Shadow Spirit instead of a double Shadow Hound. You throw two things out. And you start on the dice control path. I love how all the backgrounds of these summon spells are different with different like rings and stuff. Yeah. So it's, smart. It's very clever. Deep freeze would be good for me, Philip. Is that true? Is that just a, that's an alteration spell, right? Let's take a look at what that is. Let's pop deep freeze so I can see what the art looks like. It's that frozen fox. Mmm. That giant, uh, massive growth you had was money. Massive growth is great. So you've got to spend side actions to remove status tokens. You know, that's actually super good because that makes sense. It means you can't meditate and unfreeze the unit. Yeah, all at the same time. That would be great. Oh my gosh, it'd be so good in this set. Considered to be exhausted? Guys, you are so correct. That's devastating. <laughs> wow. Okay. We'll probably drop Miss Typhoon for that. Let's see how many of those I've got in there. Just have the one, maybe? Nope, two. This is so good. Um, okay, so massive growth. I like that. So is my opening ultimately going to be body inversion? Do I need this dark presence? I guess it's a nice, it's a nice closer, closer. Secret door is nice on those. Yeah, that's so good. It's just it's just unbelievably good. So what am I really looking at here? So I've got three ready spells. Shadow Spirit, Shadow Hound, and False Demon. Look at my spell board. That's that's right. Yeah, that's all I've got. Okay, got a conjuration in there. So this is so I've got a six. I've got a spell board of five. So this is kind of my. I've got a little bit of a toolbox going on here. Body inversion for when things are weird. 
And the Dark Presence and Secret Door are ways to totally sneak damage through, which are very nice. Um, so now, Psyche's good. Two Shadows, you gotta have three of those with the new, yeah, with the new build. And then, you got Shadow Strikes are okay. This Flash Archer, not. She's a, a big bad unit. She's big. Everything else here I love. So these are my potential cuts here. Miss Typhoon, Shadow Strike, Flash Archer. So I'm thinking there's going to be people, obviously, that are going to run uh, swarms. So I think you, you leave Miss Typhoon in as a way to deal with somebody who's swarming units, like the zombie decks and those kinds of things. Um, I probably cut I probably cut all four of these and run an additional Miss Typhoon or even an additional bear. And bear is just like the body that I need for all this <laughs> illusion stuff to not the bears. not worry about. Yeah, did you see this? How good this is? It's so good. It acts exhausted for three side actions. But also, whenever you have spells that say if a unit's exhausted, discard it. Yeah. No, or just hit an exhausted unit with the uh, uh, false demon. I'm painfully. Yikes. Aware of this. This will be painful for you. For you. No. Do I get to run a deck of nothing but three ofs? Oh my gosh. Zach, I've arrived. I have arrived. All the three of's? Yeah, I think I'm I'm all on three of's, except for I'm on two bears. Two bears. The bears. Okay, so let's leave one flash archer in. Just to, just to show you. You know, just in case. It, it's a nice one of. A little surprise. Reading through some things, don't mind me. Or we could leave one Shadow Strike in. Let's do that. That's more illusion-y. Two Mist Typhoons and then Deep Freeze going in. Boom, put the boom, put the boom. I'm going back to Shadow or to Flash Archer. She good. It can just really, especially when you have so many instances of doing just one damage. You got the Shadow Hound coming in, the False Demon, the Flash Archer. It's just like, yeah. pow, pow, pow. Pow, pow, power wheels. There are definitely going to be matches where she's super good. This is kind of my Kill the Swarms suite. Ms. Kata asking, uh, Team Kevin, I have a question. Why does the Ashes Rise of the Phoenix Born package in your website have an orangey background, not the white? That's a good question. Package? Uh, you mean the, the subscription? Like the actual product or the background behind the product? Because the they updated the look of the product to have red packaging. Um, the original had like a white, a stark white packages. Uh, but the red is the reborn, so that's how you can easily tell that that's an updated product. I think we have, didn't we update all those? Yeah, they look fine. I thought I did. But I think this is what it's like. It's like this is orange. Not, not back here. Oh, not white. So they're the reborn versions. Yeah. yeah. These are the new versions of the, uh, of the product. So the packaging is upgraded to reflect that it's the reborn version, which means it'll have all the new cards rather than the old cards. Anything with white packaging is going to be 1.0. Which is still very much viable and usable if you get the upgrade pack. Okay, what's your what's my first? What's my first uh I'm gonna stick on what worked here. Let me look at something really quick. Do you want two shadow hounds? Or not? And how many hearts do I really need? One. Two. 
two, three, four. Yep, yeah, I only need one heart. Going for more of that. So then we can do False Demon, Double Shadow Hound. Bada bing, bada boom. One You're not the only one getting better. And then... I, I don't even want to make any changes until I see what the deck does with more nature dice. Yeah. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Is that right? Six, seven, eight, nine, Ray ten. Ray asking, how come I haven't seen you guys play L5R? We actually did, a couple months ago. You got it? Okay. You can plan to use one of your dice on her ability. I'm not doing that. I've been down that road before. Let's see what the best use is going to be. I can start with one copycat. That's Correct me. That's exciting. <laughs> it's an exciting idea, isn't it, Zach? Oh, I started with a body inversion. That's right. There it is. Got it. Uh, three basic. So Chris J C D saying for Zach, after this many games and how much how much do you feel the new illusion dice are a threat to your plans? We're not using hardly any of the dice powers. Well, was, we're threatening them. Like I was, I, I was getting mine on. You were. The charms and the divine. I was, I was threatening frogs. Um the illusion to me, I don't ever this is the this is the thing. Illusion at this point, if you're gonna use that dice power or even her ability, is so much about it has to be about mill. Because all you're doing is you're essentially just cutting cards from the top of their deck. Mm -hmm. That's what you're doing. Yeah, because you used to take the dice away, which is generically good. That's incredible. Yeah, too good. Yeah. Uh, I feel like it's a lot less threatening. I'm, I'm really like, oh, he's got a wolf. I need to worry about it. Uh, Justin, uh, release date update for Ashes. They posted an update a while back that was January, is what it's looking like. And that's actually, so the original estimate that they had was not actually having information from manufacturing. Like, we haven't worked through and provided the files. It was just kind of a general, it usually takes about this long. Um, so having got the actual estimate now back, uh, it looks like it's going to be about January. All right, I have three basics, four basics. How many you got? Three. You're first. I'm first. You're the man now. Now that's what I call pot racing. We need to get a little. I want to get get something to put right here. Yeah, that I can put my drink on. A little, little table. Could just even could table even attach to this thing if I needed to. I don't know. Table. 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 It's an inside job. Maybe not that inside if people uh, are hip and with it. Are hip and with it. They have to be both though. <laughs> yeah, not one or the other. Now, simultaneous. <clears throat> okay. Yeah, the I think the wolves or the uh, the illusion dice will get better as I get better. Like right now, dropping two snakes so that you can't golden veil or whatever is that is that a snake ability? Mm -hmm. So I can side action drop the snakes and then do something important. It's going to be one of those things that gets better as you know what's going on. In the meantime, not as good. In the meantime, we'll just be playing ashes. <laughs> you got it. All right, here we go. First things first. Yes, I am the realist. Thank you, Zach. Thank you, Iggy. Speaking of hitting with it, where did she go? Yeah, right? Iggy Azalea showed Nowhere. up and left. Uh, Shadowhound body inversion. Slap, slap. Cool. Let's play a summon gilder. And... And empower. Cool, 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 cool. All right, open memories. They're open, can't do it yet. Side action, uh, do this thing. Why can't you do it yet? I don't have the heart. Mm. And then we'll do it. One and one. To find another shadow hound. And put it into my hand. Not that Zach knows that, but that's what's happening. Body inversion is the worst. It's such a card, isn't it? It's really good against all of the cards I like. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you know, you got to know your opponent. No one to hold them, no one to fold them. It's cool. 
That's cool. That's cool. There's also, so somebody's going to do this, right? There's the play the bear, remove the exhaustion from the bear, four dice for a 4-4 four, four unit. That's now first turn, like, ready to go. Uh, <laughs> He's ready to party. But I like it better for two. I think just waiting yeah. on it is great. Patience. Yeah. Uh, let's meditate for one. Play a holy night. Oh, holy night. That's the card I'm all about. Mm-hmm. Yeah, in power, you can see the new one pop up on the screen. It's a side action and a resource to play it. Okay, next up. Wait, why do I have this in my hand? You played it. I played it. It'd be nice if you could just keep yeah. Keep that cycle going. It'd be nice. It'd be Wouldn't nice. it be nice? I got the button like me to do. <clears throat> I love the Holy Knight. You know those charm dice are great now. The minus ones? Yeah. 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 Because like I'm I'm on the play the Shadow Hound, have a one three or a three one that can block. But then you you snake it and, and swing in. It's not good. And then you got problems. Math is bad. <laughs> <laughs> ah. Um. Let's focus that summon shadow hounds, and then let's meditate up, or throw you down. No, let's meditate up. Ah. Third shadow hound. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Wolfpack over there. Wolfpack. <laughs> oh, what was that wrestling group? It was a Wolfpack, wolfpack. wasn't it? Do, do, did they have do, a do, thing or like a um, uh, like a Diamond Dallas Page or anything? Yeah, they or... did this. They did. <laughs> they got the Wolfpack and they go, <laughs> and they hit and, and they're just too sweet. That's right. That's yeah. right. <laughs> they were the they were hilarious. Mm. All right. <laughs> it was actually a really good theme. Song. Oh, and that was how it started. Yeah. <laughs> It's like some, you know, people, are, something's going down, and then all of a sudden that music hit. It's yeah, like it's, like, oh! it's like, ah! Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, you know, man. As you're as nice saying, Limp Biscuit haven't heard them in years. You remember when literally the radio was basically Kid Rock and Limp Biscuit? Or Child Z104.5, The Edge? The Edge. Yes. The Edge. I used to really love it. What's your what's your game here, Wooly? Then I got older. Just take three is my game. Nah, then you want to bring the hounds in. Bring oh. in the hounds. I'm gonna play a summon silver snake. Mm -hmm. If I don't play any units, you can't ever buff the snake. That is true. I would be okay if you never played units. Summon false demon. Hitting the table. Pass. Mm -hmm. Pass the side. Mm -hmm. This guy asking, why are there so many book images in the game? Uh, those are spell books. They didn't change any of the art. And all the books are different, and it's super cool. Because wizards read books. Hmm. Haven't you heard? I'm going to meditate. Ooh, there goes that refresh. Who's laughing now? To a frog? It's getting snaky in here. That snake's gone. Right now. I gotta make you do it. So we're doing the old veil body inversion exchange, huh? But that takes away a shadow hound from me, basically, is what that does. But I do see this ah, see I built this deck well. Alright, let's let's drop down snaky and leafy. And then let's invert snaky. See? Second playthrough, and we've already determined that you can get better at this game. <laughs> they call that new metal, zero sign. That's amazing. Wait, I can't do that. I can't do that. There's a reason I can't do that. People said. Oh, they're both side actions. That's why you can't do it. That's the whole point. 
of why that mechanic probably exists as side actions. Nick's on it. Do you know? You know what I'm saying? Was that Nick? Nick? No, I'm just saying like you can obviously. It's obviously. Oh yeah, it's built well. Like oh yeah. Think, so literally, the thing you want to do in a row are actions. They took them and from side me. actions. You can't. It's not the combination of actions and side actions are typically not the two things you really want to be doing. It's like you need two side actions or two actions. Yeah. He took them, from which me. is great. He took them from me. Chris saying because wizards read books needs to be a T-shirt. I agree. Put the old wizard, woolly wizard on it. Oh man! So. Basically, at that point, I'm spending dice to mill your deck. Because we all know the score here. I do this. You can meditate one up. I do this. You meditate one up. I do that. You know, it just goes forever. What an annoyance. What an absolute annoyance. Now, like... <laughs> I did something has gone wrong here. So I spent <laughs> I know my dice are not right. So I spent a uh, heart and a basic, which is here. Heart and a basic. Oh, it's because I spent the swap too. So I put the wolf back. I need to put the swap back too. All right. <laughs> so something like, is a miss. Well, at least I get two shadow hounds, and then I realized I didn't have them. That's, um, that's so glorious. So anything that comes out here gets killed. Gets gobbled up by my snaky snake. Except the shadow hound is immune to things like your ability, which is the whole point. Yes. Okay. So shadow hound is immune, which means that you have to minus one it, which means that then I could body invert your snake next turn. Oh my gosh, it's like chess. It's like we're playing. What is this? The Sicilian I, offense? I do feel like. Or defense. Sicilian defense, isn't it? This, this so has. How do you move the rook up? I have no idea. You'd have to ask someone is that pawn d4? I feel like this is, there are lines that are very, the randomness in the game is low. You just don't know, right? Like, the things you're saying, you can structure your plays, period. I sound like a crazy person. I do? No, I do. Oh. Placing a shadow hound, let's do one of the silver snake, just because we can, it's not going to matter. Snake. But what I'm saying is now, if you do minus one here, mm -hmm. so you can swing with the holy knight, then I get a free inversion on the snake, mm -hmm. because you can no longer golden veil. Mm -hmm. Unless, yeah, that's right. But what that's I'm going right. to do instead, Stephen, you can't target me with dice powers either. It says dice powers on the card. My whole line, it doesn't make any sense. It's even better than I thought. You can't do anything to it. It's a shadow. I can do whatever I want. <laughs> uh, what can it be targeted by? Nothing. Anything. I mean, okay, cool. Cool. Well, here's what I'm going to do. Empower somebody? No. You still can't do both of those on the same turn. No, I can never do that. But it looks like we're both gonna go we're both gonna go to the next turn holding on to dice because we know that we're in essentially a stalemate. I don't think that's true. Okay. So you prove it. I can place a status token here. Oh, that changes the math, yeah. So I'm a... <laughs> <laughs> this is this is no stalemate. Um and I can block that thing, right? In general? Can't be guarded against. So you can... Uh... Nothing can guard. You can get a unit if you want a unit, basically. That's right. Hmm. That's right. And actually, that's that's super good. Yeah, because then you could just eat my snake. Or your holy knight. Yeah. Eat anything I want. Your call. <laughs> and he can't be targeted by nothing. This unit's incredibly good, Zach. It's unreal. <laughs> Tax spells, abilities, or dice power. It's, it's really nothing. good. Yeah. Because I have a million ways to deal with him. I just can't. That's what you're saying. Yeah, that's can't is the word there. That's not, that's not fair. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> Recovery race. So at the end of the round, um, everything that has a recover value removes that many damage. Tigra and Arbiter is correct. It really does not like global damage, which you have, which you had earlier. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. This game has gotten so much better. Like, when I was playing Ashes originally, I was like, I like it. I get it. 
but it felt weird. It didn't feel like it was very, um, well, it didn't feel all that balanced, honestly. But that was kind of the, the name of the game at the time. Nothing was balanced then. What was that, 2015? Yeah. We've learned so much since then. But now, I'm on the edge of my seat every single action, it seems like. Maybe we've just gotten better. I'm sure the game's gotten more balanced, though, too, right? Angels have, many angels Here we have go. been blessed with their wings. Focus. Spend a leaf. Oh, he figured out the tactic. Get a status. Swing with a snake at Victoria. Mm. Or actually, let's do it at the Shadow Hand. Get out of town, Leroy Brown. So I get to make the choice. Yeah. Rather than you. But if you're going to block a unit, it's got to be now. Can't be targeted by attacks. Lame. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll attack Victoria. <laughs> she is ridiculous. <clears throat> so you're saying I can block, counter, kill the snake, right? Mm -hmm. Or I can take two, kill the holy knight. Yep. Take one. He's only got one attack. I'm taking one. He's just a little guy right now. <laughs> All right, your action. All right. What kind of nonsense would you have that, that would make this go poorly? That's Golden Veil, right? What does that say? Can you read that card to me? <laughs> Somebody pull Golden Veil up on the screen. It says, you can play this spell after an opponent targets a unit you control with a spell, ability, or dice power. Okay. Cancel that effect and the remaining effects of the spell, ability, or dice power. All right. Rap. Chomp. At the night. Yeah. All right. We, we chomp. defeat each other. I get a status token. Thanks for playing. You get two? I got one. Is it your this. units or or uh, only, only? It's only your units. Okay. Yeah. Fair out. Far out. My action. Um. Yes. You have a side action technically if you want it. No, I don't want it. I'm about to get wrecked. Oh, I'm one die short. No, I'm not. I'm one die in the in the positive. I'll pass. Spell ability or dice power, is that right? Yep. What would an ability be? Anything that's bold. This. I think Shadowhound is one of the best units in the game. Oh, it's so good. Yeah, I stumbled onto it, didn't I? Man, Golden Veil, you're so good. <laughs> uh, you're also good, though. Yeah. A lot of good things here in the world. Yeah, I think a, a lot of cards got very playable in the old Reborn, Reborn-a-thon. Maxwell Silva Hammer came down. So here's, here's what's fascinating, right? Mm -hmm. So my initial thought is I can summon a Shadow Hound, do one damage here, and then swing at the snake with the shadow hound and be done with it then the second idea was play the false demon which does one to an exhausted unit and then body invert it with my last die to kill it but of course you can prevent the summon false demon ability with golden veil so that wouldn't work you can also prevent the shadow hound focus one ability if you're thinking but if i do the shadow hound i can't body invert So in like a tournament, I would try to feel you out and say like, is he going to cancel a false demon one damage? Does he even see the play? Most of the time, people wouldn't, I think. I mean, I've been body inverted enough to know. <laughs> Let me tell you, buddy. <laughs> okay, then what we're going to do, we have to decide. I think we want to get Golden Veil out of the hand at this point. Yeah. So we summon a false demon, and then we go in with one. Summoning false demon. All right. Lies. I'm going to trigger Nightmare 1. When it comes into play, deal the damage to a target exhausted unit. You're not doing anything about it? Okay, cool. One to you. You want to cancel that? Mm -mm. You're going to let me invert you? What are you going to do, play Gilder? I can cancel the inversion. All oh, right. I want to make you spend the die. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah. 
I'm going to I'm going to pretend Hold like on. we don't know what what the score is. Thank you. One up. Body inverted. Oh my gosh, it's the moment. I've got you. Golden uh, Veil. Got him. Mine? Dang. Yes. Damage there. Mr. Gilder. Dun dun dun. Now I got a blocker. Yeah, I probably just have to eat that Gilder, right? <laughs> no, I can block a Maoni. Oh, yeah. She's ready. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm swinging at the Gilder. I'm a board control guy. Uh, yeah, I'll block with Manny. Take two? Yeah. Uh, then I'll take an action. Or a yeah, so action. hold on. I want to cover this because this is important. Um, you have an extra wolf so we can downgrade the snake. So if I downgrade the snake, I don't have the die left over for the inversion, which is why I couldn't downgrade the snake. Uh, and then why wing saying... Even you if you downgrade the snake, though... You need to be able to do both things. You need to be able to do both side actions. Otherwise, I can just meditate back to a snake. You can always manage to keep so meditating back to a snake. you're just losing a die to make me lose cards from the top of my deck. Die for a card. And the second thing here is you can frog. Why well, I mean, swim? You're correct. You can frog. Now, if I frog, I lose the bear. So I feel like I got the, a 4-4 that comes into play next turn ready is better than uh, one damage right now. Now, I may be wrong about that. I haven't run the simulation, as it were. Um, so you block from, from with Mayoni? I mean, if you double frog me, you can get rid of the snake. Yeah, I know. But I'm yeah. not going to give you the time to double frog me. No. Because it, once we both pass main action, it's over. Yeah. You just did a main action. So yep. I will go ahead and meditate to a snake. Okay. And then here comes the bear. Da bears. I knew that bear was coming. <laughs> yeah, something told you. Huh? He's coming around that bed. <laughs> All right. What's uh, up, Cavilla7? Finally, we have one of your streams. Hey, glad you're here. Welcome. Uh, I'll pass. Done. Technically, you would get one more side action if you wanted it. I don't know. You don't have any, but... But I appreciate you checking. Just in case. <laughs> there was a moment there. And the snake is clean. So this is a nice... I think, we, I think you did a way better... This is super even, right? One damage up against you on the Phoenix Morn. You've got a Silver Snake and a Gilder. I've got a Demon with one and a Sleeping Bear. This is way better. Almost perfectly and even. Me here. having a Silver Snake with status tokens on it to start? Yeah. Is we're a league ahead of where we were last time. Yeah. Uh, but it helped because I, I needed these dice. So last time, I summoned a Gilder and I summoned a Snake. So I couldn't do this status token. Mm -hmm. And I couldn't play any other leaves from my hand. It's a waste of time. Maxwell Silver. Ooh, look at the snakes. <laughs> Don't step on them. Look at the snakes on that one. Let's see what. Oh man, see, I just did it. You gotta watch it. I changed the die when I was pushing them around. It's so easy to do, especially when you mean to. <laughs> I see. And Dragon Four Twenty, the Gilder has zero attack. That's probably why he didn't attack with it, right? Yeah, he's a he's a basic cat. Hmm, I'm missing a die. Don't mind me. No, it's right here. Oh, okay, okay. It was an angel. Are you an angel? Are you an angel? I was like, I didn't think I was short. <laughs> that kind of short. Short of die. I don't know if that's all. <laughs> all right, let's see what the doctor has ordered this fine day. T. Grant, that may be right to have him, uh, to have the hound eat the snake. That may have been better. You're right. But I was kind of playing that I didn't know Golden Veil vale was was there. Although I guess against Mayoni, you really should just you should predict it. Just yeah. predict that, yeah. Kevilla saying I've been looking to stream board games for a long time, even knowing how challenging it can be. But you guys have been an inspiration. Keep up the good work, guys. Hey, thank you so much. That's super meaningful to us. We appreciate that. Um, just remember, we literally it took us thirteen years to get to this setup. So, the cash 13. I mean, everybody who talks about, and it's not just the equipment, it's the comfort on camera, it's the For ability sure. to play games and not be distracted, it's the ability to try to be some level of inter interesting slash entertaining. It's um, also, I feel like, the... The backdrop, the plants. What was I getting ready to say? You don't oh, get these plants without I think a lot of people, years. too, they have the hesitation to not start until they're good at it. 
Mm -hmm. But I look back at videos even from earlier this year and it's uncomfortable. Yeah. Um, let alone like 10 years ago and it's like very cringeworthy. So if you're interested and you love it, go for it. Experience is the number one teacher in all things. Uh, you're the first player, right? This flipped. Yeah, that guild, my guild is wanting to have a little false demon snack. Yeah, as you should. Oh, we did this right. Nice. It just flips. Smart. We were thinking. <laughs> we were thinking. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, I mean, those early X-Wing streams were so much fun. Early X-Wing videos. We it's, produced so many of those. Oh, my goodness. We so. cut our teeth on X-Wing videos. <clears throat> you know, it's, it's interesting. Because now that I know that Copycat, uh, we're learning. I, I, I like jamming out games with the same characters. Yeah. Because like now when I play Victoria, it's like, oh, Copycat. I'm sitting here looking. It's like, well, technically, I could like do this ability, but like your bear is sitting there. I got to wait until he's exhausted before I use and that, this ability. That bear is not sleeping any longer. That bear. <laughs> that bear could be a copycat at any moment. That bear needs therapy. Yeah, I am the Tim Netrunner commentary. Man, somebody's got to make that game. Bring it back. Bring it back. If there's any publishers out there who want to do that, give us a shout. We have the player-driven production model. <laughs> I guarantee you it would be in the thousands of people that would, would contribute to bring Netrunner back. Maybe the 20,000s to 6,000s. Tens upon tens, tens of tens of, people. tens of thousands of people. All right, here's we, what... We're here for it. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to summon a gilder. And Why do are all these gilder? Isn't it a one of now? No, it's a two. Oh my god! And I'll do a damage there. What an absolute classic! And Snake's gonna come a little bit bigger of a boy. Now you got set up. This is what I like. Now this is a problem. A snake flanked by two gilders. Now this, this dream come is true. a problem. Ah, oh, this is really kind. Chris uh, saying, I just listened back to the TC History podcast from he thinks 2018. Uh, you guys have been through a lot, and it's super interesting how dedicated you've continued to be in spite of the challenges. True inspiration. What would life be without challenges? We're happy to have you. That's, here. yeah, that's awesome. That's really awesome. It's not as awesome as my silver snake. Mm -hmm. Woo! <laughs> pow, pow, pow. That <laughs> pisses you out. <laughs> ben Sweeney's saying he got in to learn how to play Destiny. That's how he found us, and now he watches our streams every day. It's great seeing you, Ben. Yeah, it's great to see you, Ben. Ben's a name I see on the uh, community text team. We'll pop that up. If you are if four or five hours a day on stream is not enough of me and Steven, <laughs> you can text us. Uh, but really, that's cool because we like I sent a text this morning to anyone that was interested in Ashes, letting them know we're going to stream, and it's not subject to uh, social algorithms filtering out content. So if you want uh, direct updates from us and to be able to text us at any point, hit us up. I'm taking my algorithms, <laughs> my algies, <laughs> not my fingies. Tom Haverford. You know, I've got I've got some weird moments here, and I I haven't run the math. I just kind of want to see some different things. You're gonna feel your way through this one. I'm gonna feel my way through <laughs> this one. That's right. We're gonna play the old Flash Archer. We got a feeler. One, two, and then do I need the heart? I don't need the heart. Heart and a basic. And copycat's just basics, right? Lord Almighty. That's right. It's just one basic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no restriction. No, no. It's the kind of card that if I wasn't playing, I would be railing against literally constantly. Do you know, what's the movie where the guy buys all the pudding? You know what I'm talking about? It's a weird movie. I think it's got Adam Sandler in it. Um, Sounds like a Sandler film. Th there's a, well, it's basically like there's this guy and it, there's a deal on this pudding. It's like for every 10 labels you turn in, you get $100 or something, right? And mm -hmm. so he literally goes across, uh -huh. he literally has, this, he rents a big warehouse because it's like such a good deal. He's buying all the puddings he can find everywhere. Um, and he, he calls them and he's like, hey, there's no restrictions, right? I can do this as many. And they're like, nope, we're good. And then eventually he gets like thousands of these things and like they refuse to cash in on it. And it, anyways, I have no, I have no idea. It's a serious is. movie. I'm meditating. The reason times. I, the example is that's how that. Uh, copycat feels to me. It's like, wait, there's no restrictions? You don't have to pay anything else? You just pay the one. No, yeah, I get it. Play cost, man. That's right. <laughs> Gosh, what's the name of that movie? It's like actually like a renowned movie. Okay. Pudding time? I'll have to look it up after a minute. All right. 
You did your thing? You played, you played a fire archer? I played the fire archer and then I meditated up three. And that's all. Don't kill it, please. <laughs> it's built for dying. It's built for dying, though. Yeah. That's I true. know what you're trying to do. Well, I just want to I just want to take a look at well, let's find out what you can do, right? Let's find out. All you can do is find out. <laughs> nice, Ian. Found you for L5R and stay for the high quality videos and the fun. You're high quality. All of you are high quality. I feel like I, we should get... That top shot is not crisp enough. This one? Yeah. It's like whited out. Isn't it? Why is it so white? Also, well, the, <laughs> the cards... My cards are definitely creeping past that mid -point. Yeah, you, you get a little <laughs> aggressive on me there. <laughs> Well, I have to play around this, our faces right here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Hold on. There and there. Uh, yeah. Punch Drunk Love is the movie. Oh, nice. That is a normal movie. I've heard of that before. <laughs> He's got this giant warehouse of all this pudding. It's very funny. <laughs> Human Ray the, here the checking movie. in for almost the first time, I think, on the comments to let you know that Punch Drunk Love is the name of that movie. <laughs> Why we correct most card games you'd pay the basic uh, and the cost, but this is a high impact, high fun game. That's what I would say. Chris J C D also says sounds like punch drunk love. Twitch chat, you guys are obviously uh, uh, consumers of great, great cinema. I get it. You trying to see my lines? You have two fours. That means you can copy out even if I get rid of one of them. I've got a bishop in the middle. Controlling your flanks. What you gonna do about it? Nothing. Why do you assume I have copycat? There's 30 cards in the deck. 25 to draw from. It's the same odds that you have in Golden Veil, actually higher, because you started with your Golden Veil. You cashed all your eggs in at the start. All my eggs. I'm just thinking about how to get around this. I, I can't lose my snake. <laughs> you know? Oh, but you can. <laughs> yeah, I can. What? This is the first time, honestly, today is the first time that Ashes has... I've like, you know, I said on the seven layer dip, I was. I felt like I was on like four or five in Flesh and Blood. I feel like I just got to like three to four, maybe four to five. You're like really ashes. starting to taste it. It's like, dish. oh my gosh, I'm seeing. It's just like in chess. It's so unexpected that a game like this is essentially like we are in the mid game where somebody's going to set off the sacrifice chain, and then it's and on. somebody's going to be ahead at the end of it. Yeah, yeah, and the only way to know is to try it a million times. Oh man! You can Golden Veil copycat. Yeah, which would be cool. I mean, I'd hate it, but it'd be fun. It would be a good time. I play the units with the fours on. Because you can do two damage here, basically, right? Yeah, one and one. But or can, two to it one. It can be thing. the same unit. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks, Andrew. That's awesome. So what I meant to say was other people's learning to plays are hard to watch. By comparison, I've enjoyed pretty much everything you guys have done. Well, that's great, Andrew. Thank you. Thank you for that, really. This is uh, our, our work. All right. Here's what I'll do. I'm going to meditate. Mm. Bold move. For one, starting with one. You like staring at all these wolves? Does that scare you? Not at all. We're going to go up to a frog. That does seem more reasonable. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Always choose the high one. Why not? <laughs> um, then I'll do one more. <laughs> not my holy night. Uh, then I'll take an action. Put a status token here. Mm -hmm. It's a 4-4. Four, four. He's ready to, to go. Why are we saying, can you copy Golden Veil? I think so. I suppose I could, yeah. But I think Golden Veil is after it resolves. So you could copy Golden Veil, but it wouldn't matter because I've already resolved it. So you couldn't cancel anything. That seems right. 
<laughs> Chris, uh, you should start a t-shirt business. He says, in quotes, I play the units with fours on them. It should also be on a t-shirt. So, you know... <clears throat> Boy, choices have got to be made here. Someone asking how I turned a frog into a status. It's in power. I can spend a leaf uh, to place status token on a target unit I control. Then technically, oh, let's do that. No, it's, do not it focused. it's not focused. Now, oh, okay. If it was focused, I could move any number of these to do that much damage to a unit. Oh, so I that's remove sick. Two, get rid of the flash archer and put a one back on because I got mm -hmm. rid of your unit. Which that's would pretty be cool. That's play. a secret snack. Yeah, a secret snack. <laughs> the best kind of snack. So I'm going to decide now if I want to stack the board up further. You swing with snake. So like that, we're past swinging with things. We, we've gotten to the point of the game where that doesn't even matter. Now it's just like the Cold War. It's yeah. not great. <laughs> it totally is. <laughs> oh, yeah, well. Basically, you have to build to the point this? where your opponent is unwilling to start swinging. <laughs> Apparently, only action spells and Phoenixborn abilities can be copied with copycat. You can't copy reaction. If I had it, I'd read it. Or perhaps I do. Uh, the new Empower changed, Y Wing. At least the way I'm reading it. Okay. This snake has become a problem. He's going to get worse. Because this snake's hungry. <laughs> this snake hungry. Okay, so what's your best? what's your best idea here? Your best thing to do. Okay, so that's a side action. Okay. Mm hmm. Hit you with four and go for the swinging town. But again, if I copy it, it's a problem. As long as I have two unexhausted things, that is the balance point right there. Mm hmm. So I can't use them yet. But if you have a clever way to get rid of one of them, then the whole thing collapses and the game is over. That is the knife we're standing on. Edge. But also, if I body invert one of these guilders off the table <clears throat> and then essentially hang out, the next turn I'm threatening side action, kill the other guilder, bear into the snake, and just do four. But I can block those. But you've got Mayoni. My man, this is what I'm talking about. It's like... All right, how about some of this? Dark presence. <laughs> As my main action, side action, I can choose something that can't be blocked by one attack. Blocked or guarded by one attack. So your guilders would not be able to defend. And Mayoni would not be able to defend if I wanted to go after that snake with a four damage attack. Why couldn't Mayoni defend? Cannot be blocked or guarded against. Oh, by units. Mm. I don't like that. You can't see. You can't touch this. Not as good. Not as good. Not as good. Then you kill the bear. Hmm. Yeah, so like if you use this, I can get the bear. Yep. That's why I had to get him before. Had to happen. All right, so maybe let's go to our summon spells. Let's take a look at what that's, what that's looking like here. You can always drop in some shadow hounds. <laughs> you can always put those, those hounds in. in, you know? Send in the hounds. So if I drop in a hound, mm. mm -hmm. what's up? What's up? We're good. What's up? I did some learning. So if I drop in a hound, do one to the silver snake, then I've got three units that could kill the silver snake because the hound is a three one. So that puts an additional pressure point. Then I can use the flash archer. I'm gonna I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna three shadow hounds. One damage to the snake. Courtesy of focus one. Now of course you can golden veil it if you'd like. Oh nice. T Grand Arbiter. That's the plan I just did. That's usually a good sign. T Grand seems to be pretty good at this. Mm-hmm. We, can, we hit it at the same time. This is just like chess. This is driving me insane, actually. I've been doing... I got the Chess Tactics app. You're getting back in the game. Well, 
Yes. I just need, <laughs> I just, those mental puzzles are so much more productive than scrolling through like Reddit or, you know, news. Any number of things. I got pretty addicted to the news here in the past few years. So I'd rather spend that time doing something that might be productive, like working my brain out. Mm -hmm. Hope it doesn't give me a stroke. But, I, you know, presumably it's just going to make me better at my uh, my professional job, which is to beat you on camera. I like it. All right. Let's, let's, uh, let's. You're going to push the chain? We're just going to tumble this whole thing straight down. All right, let's go. Aren't we? Let me make sure I don't need that. Yeah, I don't need it. I'm also threatening bear number two. He will come in exhausted, though. Da bears. Uh... Let's. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Wait, this is deeper than I thought thought it was. It keeps going, doesn't it? It's like the the tree. The chain is ever present. And he can be guarded. Cannot be no. guarded against. He's so good! What is he doing? <laughs> Christ. <laughs> Why? Why does he exist? Dragon, I can't kill both the guilders. I can only kill one guilder with the flash archer. Or the body inversion, your choice. Got blockers no matter what. My brain is on fire. I like that. How about that Shadow Helm, though? That's a good unit. I'm going to go to the bathroom and think about this. Yeah, I'm just thinking. <laughs> you got plenty of time. So, the thing I'm starting to realize is I have another Summon Silver Snake in my hand, and I have a bunch of dice. So, and I, I also have. Uh, ways like have some some cool tools like sympathy pain and redirect so in an ideal world i can actually get him to go after this snake in some way and then bring in another snake with a status token on it then i use my tools like sympathy pain to get rid of a unit like a uh, flash archer and my status starts building on my other snake so that's kind of what I'm looking at, is how to sequence it in a way. Because, like, I could use Manny's side action here with these dice and then use the snake and get just max value out of it. So, like, I could side action, hit the fire flash archer, and then a, basically swing with the snake at five. And he either has to lose the bear or take five damage. Then if he doesn't lose the bear, he swings at me. I can actually redirect that onto a unit. Um, and not take any damage, or sympathy pain. Um, so there's a lot of play there. Figured out. I won yet? No. Did you win? No. But I think this is the this is the play. I'm gonna use my any side action. And we're going to deal four damage to the bear. Okay. Do you have any reactions to that? I don't know. Let's think about it for a second. You got that veil? Sure would be nice. Do you have that redirect card? 
What are you talking about? Yeah, is there any cards in the pool that would stop this snake from dying? Particularly uh, if it just got attacked? I still have a main action. Mm hmm. Which is swinging with the snake. It would seem like a play. <laughs> we were swinging. All right, let's let's knock it down. Um, I'm, I'll play your game. I'll play your game. He's this guy. Bear is no longer a threat. Flash archer to snake. You got him. Now you're going to play another snake, aren't you? Ah, I don't know. Who's to say, really? Um, and then, as my next action, I am going to play another copy of Summon Silver Snake. Mm, nice. Check out this sweet turn, though. Do I even? What are you? What are you gonna do here? What kind of things you got? What's up? I think I went to the next next stage of Super Saiyan here. I don't like that. I don't like that. I just am taking the a less obvious line of thinking. Bob Dole don't need this. So. You don't have anything that can do two when it comes out, right? No. Big succulent say, <laughs> uh, hey, gents, never get to see your stream, but love the podcast and YouTube content. I'm a proud Marvel Champion subscriber. Very nice. Awesome. Thank you so much. Uh, it allows us to do everything that we do directly. So thank you for that. <laughs> Bizcotta, did you read that comment? Huh. Uh, it's fun to watch this stream because I literally have no game uh, un like essentially under my belt as to how almost anything works. It makes me feel like a total noob. <laughs> That's all right. Hey, we were there literally like last week. And in a month or two, we'll feel the same way about Many how we're playing right now. Many weeks ago. Um, so there's a play here that I like as an idea. But I'm not sure it's the right play. Because what's your hand? Three cards? Four cards? Five cards? Eight cards? You got so many cards. I got a lot of cards. And I got a lot of dice. Chris saying, you guys got anything to say publicly about possible Ashes, accessories, and the pipeline? Uh, we do have some limited edition uh, holiday tokens, which are alternate scheme on the, the arcane tokens already. And then we're keeping our eye out because uh, the game will keep supporting for a long time. So stay tuned. So if we keep... If we keep inversion on the table, you can't snake without. The snakes come in with one now. A veil, right on. That helps. Thank you. Okay. Snake coming in with one. Gilders to protect. Okay. Um, you got a snake, or you got a, a froggy there. And then, did you say there was something that allows you to dump status tokens into uh, kill stuff, into damage? If this is focused. Empower. Okay, so that's all focused down. You probably got an ally coming in? Oof, oof, oof. I like the fear. <clears throat> I'm going to take what I can get here. You know? Sometimes that's the play. I think I'm just going to swing in with the, the hound. Take three damage, leave two damage at will on the table. I just don't know what you could possibly have. So I'm just gonna I'm gonna play it cool here. Um because you could do one damage with like a universal thing. So if you do one damage, oh you could have the universal plus the frog on the on the flash archer. That's a board clear. Don't like that at all. Nope, nope, nope. He doesn't like that at all. Yeah, I love to see it. <laughs> so you may as well use the Shadow Hound now. Get that damage in. Or do you swing with both now? 
and you can't block. How does that work again? I can I can't guard. I can block though. They can both block. So you just match them up one to one, right? Mm -hmm. Is that how that still works? Soaky soaky. So everything dies, and I'm now you could cool. body invert one of them off the table. Yeah, and then attack, and one will definitely go through. Yeah. So your your play is very tricky here. It doesn't revolve around guilders. Okay. But I'm really attached to this idea of what I want to do. And that's usually when I'm doing something wrong. So... You get so focused on A that you don't see B or C. Yeah. But if you do do the... You really want to get a snake out. And then you want to do the do all one. And then pop one with a frog. I mean, that's so much work. That would be sick, though. That's just two turns. And then you get you come in with a three status snake. That's crazy. That's so good. For you, it will um, be painful. Well, hmm. You got so many dice. <clears throat> All right, Shadowhound on Mayoni. I'm going to take three. Take my ball home. I will take three, but I'll react. What do you got? Redirect? Sympathy Pain. Ooh, what does that do? I play a spell after one or more wound tokens are placed on my Phoenix Foreign as a result of an attack, spell, ability, or dice power an opponent controls. Deal two damage to a target unit and opponent, or target unit or Phoenix Foreign opponent controls. Mm -hmm. Two there. It's good. That's bad. I want nothing to do with that flash archer. Bad for me. You got any side actions? Oh no. All right, X-wing players. I will summon a silver snake. Frog and a snake gets me a silver snake with a status token, and then. I will side action. Will I side action? Will I? Will I? Sure. Let's meditate for one into a froggy frog. Froggy? Not the froggy. Hmm. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Why wings come? Said it best. Wow. Could have done what better. a good game. You could have done better. Pardon me. Looking for veils in my next hand. Oof, just one die short. I'm gonna be the first player next turn. Is that mm -hmm. right? That's a that's a next step too. Mm -hmm. Knowing your tempo plays and playing into them. So you're gonna pop. Oh, you can't pop here with the frog. I can because you're exhausted. Oh, right on. Yeah. 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 Okay. So then that means. I'm going to pass the main action and then no maybe not maybe maybe this is one of those yeah okay uh let's pass the main action and then let's frog the snake no wait you've got recover Hold on, that changes the game. Ah, recover's so annoying. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Uh. Okay. Um.
Pass the main action. Let's body invert a Gilder. Give me a status token. I thought it was just mine. It's when, when he leaves play, I guess. Oh, never mind. I think you're Coming back. <laughs> we went back. That's why I wanted to wait for them to get used instead of blocking your business. Well, in that case, I think it's a uh, passy wassy for me. I suppose I could get a demon out. Not yet, though. I'll pass. I'll wait on the demon. <laughs> Don't you see? So I can nuke the hound, swing for two. Nuke the hound. Then you get a demon out, and that's fine. Right? Aren't we fine with this? Yeah, with recover, you're totally fine. Um, all right, I will frog your shadow hound. Frogged. Then the snake will swing at uh, Victoria for a two. You got me. Okay. And I'm going to be the first player. You got that right. Okay. So then... You've got that recover. <clears throat> we can. You got a, a unit board of three. Is that right? Still. No. You got more now. She's a four now. She's a four. She's a four. Mm -hmm. Down, down, down. House. All right. Let's put the old false demon out here. False demon. Doing one to the snake is not going to matter. You don't even have to waste your time on it. We'll do it anyway. And then over to you. All right, X Wing players. Let's meditate your action. So you pass your main? Mm -hmm. I'll pass the main. It's over to me. What a map. Tons of math. John Cena over here. Should have had you rolling at the beginning of 2020. Hmm. Get those masks up in here. Yo, hello. Well, well, pandemic time. humor. It's we're, about time. We're right? at that point. It's time. <laughs> it's not too soon anymore. Okay. Hold on, let me get this. Discard. This is the question. Do you keep this or discard it? I feel like it's too important. It's annoying. Three, four, five. Oh my gosh. Well, okay. Okay. Me first player. You still talking to Hulk speak? <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Me first player. <laughs> <laughs> you love to see it. You love to see it. You love to see it. Well, let's start where all great things start. I'm gonna do this. A shadow hound. Get in on your action. Thank you. Shadow hound. We're gonna do one to that snick. Snick. Don't step on it. I just have another one on the way. Uh, and then side action is. We're probably gonna do some meditating. Honestly, no, we don't. <laughs> Somehow, we need to do none of it. Um, yeah, pass the side action. Okay, fine. Mm hmm. Or if I don't need those natures, hold on a second. I might just ping you for one. Make this easier.
I ping you for one. Yeah, I'm gonna ping you for one. My snake? Yeah, so we'll threaten the inversion if you don't do anything. My snake? Hmm. Snakes and frogs and snakes and frogs. All right, we're gonna use a... No, let's do this in a second. Steak and eggs and eggs and steak. I'm gonna play Nature's Wrath. There it is. One to everything. Absolutely everything? Everything, including mine. Oof. Then, what is my main, or my side action? That was my main action. I'm gonna use Manny's ability. We're gonna do three damage there. My demon. Okay. He's charging up. <laughs> Interesting resolution question here. Interesting resolution question. <laughs> You know, we've made it to the sixth layer of the dip when you haven't asked about timing and resolution. This is an interesting, interesting question. I'm going to guess that I'm going to resolve it in a way that is good. Okay. And if it doesn't work that way, we will rewind it back. Okay. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to body invert that snake. I guess that doesn't really matter, does it? It doesn't matter at all. So actually, I have no timing question. I just have to do one damage to it, and it's dead, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. <clears throat> well, that, that changes is things. Correct. <laughs> so, do you do it with a shadow hound? Yeah. Like, why do you have all these? You always have all these dice. So what about all those dice? We do both have ten every round. What's up with all those dice, man? <laughs> Come on. Come on. I'm going to have to get some units on the board. Yeah, are you going to get caught up in the landslide? You'll get caught up in the... It was That was a nice mix of the Netrunner and the landslides. <laughs> or the... What was that game? Get caught up in the... Crossfire. Crossfire. Yeah. You get... <clears throat> mm-hmm. So let's see. Hound can come out and kill the snake. First step. First things first. Now you could have a golden veil. Could have two. In which case the snake is not uh, not not killed at all. All right, let's start here just because it's so fun. Miss Typhoon, one to all of your units. Doesn't cancel that, does it? Veil's a target only? Yes. <laughs> so you wipe the board. Yeah. That's right. You got it. The question was, would the Gilders add status before the snake dies? Which doesn't if matter. It would have mattered. Yeah. And I draw a card. You pay for that? You know I did. And then side action. None. I'm going to play a Summon Gilder, and I'm going to meditate too. Dude, you're almost out of duck over there. I am. I won't need it. You will need it. You beat it. There. In case you want to get froggy. Actually, man, at this point... um. Let's do a side action. Victoria's ability. Reroll up to four. Um, now, it says reroll up to four. Reroll the equal number of dice in your active pool. If I only have three, can I only choose three of yours? I bet you can still do four. You can still do four? You can do four, and then you have to do as much as you can. Better. Hmm. Not terrible. I mean, not bad. 
this point, we might be on the meditate train here on the uh, run Zach out of deck. Meditation. Um, and then main action. Good question. I'm going to pass. Let's take an action. Ah. Get a snake. Comes with one. Uh -huh. Got no frogs left. My frogs. T. Grand saying you could have only ruled three of mine, but I don't know if that's right. Usually you don't have to read the second to do the first in any game that knows what it's doing. But here we are. But here we are. <laughs> okay, so next up. Do I think I might just take her easy. How many cards are left over there? Just out of curiosity. You got a one health snake, and it's a main action to empower. Okay. But if I throw the demon out, I can't, unless he's not a basic. He is a basic. Perfect, actually. Okay. Throw the demon out. Then Mayoni can block for snake man. Then things get worse before they get better kind of situation. You better hope. You better. <laughs> you better hope. <laughs> You'd love to see it. <laughs> or do you build? I think you build. Yeah. Um, okay, so let's get a demon out there. Mm -hmm. And pass over to you. All right, let's meditate for one into a frog. We'll use that and exhaust to play a gilder and do a damage to the demon. Don't eat that demon. No. Boy. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> we better use this demon while we got it. If you sacrifice the Gilder, you get a snake thing. That is correct. <laughs> You've got three dice left. Gross dice, too. Very gross. Okay. Let's body invert the Gilder. Let's swing at the snake. No, not the snake anymore. This is one health anyway. Oh right, right, right. Oh now I can't invert the snake. Ah. yeah. Let's leave the gilder. Leave the gilder. Leave the gilder. I think I'm just in a pass moment here. There was a series of actions I took for a reason. Mm -hmm. And you yeah. just, you discovered them just yeah, then. Just then. <laughs> yeah. Hand off the piece. Hand off the piece. Oh, good. T. Grand is wrong about the equal. So we so, got it right. Yeah, we did okay. There's one for us. The chat usually gets us gets it right. Yeah. Chat's better uh, than we are at these. So, and it's the inter the interesting thing is. I'm going to meditate this spell off the board. Mm. Bold. To do this and then take this action. Gain a status. Mm -hmm. Is there, so would we ever get to a point where we're just staring at each other and nobody wants to draw cards and nobody plays anything? Well, you have to draw. But what if you have five cards? Then you, you just sit there, you right? You can hang out, yeah. You can just sit there. So you ha there always has to be pressure somewhere. Yeah. I'll be passing. Always be passing. 
Spice. No game. worries, Tigran. That makes sense. You block. I eat you. I eat you. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, Snake's gonna swing at Victoria. I am gonna block. Okay. You're gonna eat me. I'm gonna eat you. Can I take two? Yeah. All right. Uh, Hold on. I have about it. Yep. So let's meditate. One knife's edge here. <laughs> this up to a snake. Veil on, man. Veil on, little doggy. No, I already did that. I should have, when I meditated to get this one, I also did that. I meditated at the same yeah, time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, that's fine. Sometimes you got to see it to see it. Okay, so what you're saying is you can veil that snake. Just in case. Just in case. And I could... Uh, you would veil the body inversion too, is that right? I Does could veil the that? body inversion, yeah. Yeah. Hmm. That's a good bail. Am I bluffing? I don't like it at all. Who's to say, really? I don't really think it changes my play here. I think I just trade a die for a die. Call it good. It just cancels Golden Veil mm -hmm. entirely. <laughs> okay. Um... So you've got a big snake next turn, which is a problem. Ooh, don't like that at all. Let's try to two shadows, discard exhausted unit. Yep, it's veil time. Veil on. Veil time, veil time, veil time. And then I'll pass the main. Tried Y Wing. It's got that beautiful veil around it. <laughs> the golden veil. Can't do anything. Yeah. They, they've nope. been gilded by the, <laughs> the mice. Uh, I'll pass. All right. Clear, clear, clear. Heal. I'm going to take a big snick. Snicks. Keep my hand because these are precious. Hmm. That would have been nice. Take that. I'm gonna roll that. Are you an angel? <laughs> Doesn't get old. Every time, every time. <laughs> Little orphan Annie. <laughs> All right. I'm first, he says. <laughs> You're first. You know, it would be really good. If you didn't have the... Uh, Don't get greedy now. No, the uh, demon that I can't do anything about yeah. at all. Yeah. That's the worst. He's a game closer. t Grant says it does get old, but I forgive you. How many cards left in that deck of yours? Three. This is where... So there's that abundance spell... That forces your opponent to discard two if it's focused, or discard one. So that puts your opponent... It, it's almost worth having one of those in the deck. Yeah, just to put the clock on. It's just how much can you toolbox in a 30-card deck, you know, where you need every card to count? It is crazy how tight these are. Um, Didn't I, didn't I, didn't I see you crying? Tigran said we meditate a lot. You think we meditate too much? I've heard meditation is good. We, well, we just need, you need, um, you need those people in the meta to be running the mill decks, which we typically don't. And so then you that have will, to play without meditation. Yeah, that'll change the way you value things for sure. 
That makes shifting mists way better. I'm going to swing for three. It's a big meta game. Yeah. Three, so I got a six. One up. Let's see if you can nuke my snake. Do you have those uh, unexhaust cards? Asking for a friend. In a deck that wants to build a <laughs> five to eight swinging snake, you can imagine that I would want to go multiple times in a turn. We swinging. <laughs> We were slithering. But you know, who knows? Maybe not. Who, do, who does know? Who's to say, yeah, really? Great, it's a great question. Really. We've asked that, you know, many times. Having more nature dice, it was extremely helpful. Yeah, that's awesome. Because being able to do the snakes and my stuff, like if you, if I, the turn where you were get, got rid of a snake and I played another one, it, that's where I was like, oh, I have nothing to do once he stops the first snake if I don't have more of these. Okay, good questions all around. Good questions all around here. How about... See, T. Grand, I don't think the... So the cards don't actually have value. This is an old card gamer thing. Because the most valuable card could be the one right underneath the card that you just meditated. Yeah, a random card doesn't matter. Random card is great. And a, a good player, as they meditate, will start adapting the strategy based on the cards they're seeing disappear, which is helpful. You start knowing what you're going to draw into. Yeah. So you got a three snake there. So what do I want to do here? What's my what's my long-term plan? I throw the Shadow Hound in. We can take a look at what that would look like. Then if you have anything that does one damage, which you don't, right? I mean, one to everything right now, you wasted on that. I'm, I'm okay with that. Let's throw the hound in. How? Oh! And do one to the gilder. Mm -hmm. And then uh, side action. We need to meditate. Oh. No, I don't need to do that at all. All right. Okay. Mine? Mm-hmm. Well. No one to hold them, no one to fold them. You got to know when to hold them. Thank you. Thank you, Y-Wing, or Tigran. Wrong. Right. Play a refresh. Your action. It's deep freeze that snake. <laughs> He's frozen. Hmm. Three status on? Mm-hmm. Ah. It only take you some side actions. Mm, yeah, okay. And then... I'll charge my stake up in the meantime. I'm I'm on I'm on three three to Mayoni. Can't be blocked or guarded. I'll take it. Mine? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Freeze that snake. What? Summon a gilder. Do a damage to the hound. Moon to the hound. Get a status on the snake. And I'll take a freeze off. Freeze off. All right, all right, all right. Cool, 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 cool. cool, cool. cool, cool. Hmm. <clears throat> it's about to be a healthy snake. Mm-hmm. 
Can I see your discard pile? Asking for a friend. Oh my goodness. <laughs> seventh layer of the dip right here. <laughs> the real secret to a seventh layer dip, though, is not the experience getting to the seventh layer. It's returning back to the first with everything you've learned. The layer we... The Larry we... It's not like saying Larry. The Larry we... Okay. Okay. So, if we... This has been really good. It's incredible, man. I, I feel like for the first time I'm not playing like this. Mm -hmm. I'm like actually playing the game. I, it's, it's really good. I, I completely, completely agree with that. Um, we need, um, okay, we need those things to happen. <clears throat> so, Zero has nine says, LOL, I'm now checking the discard. You guys are playing for real now. Yeah. We're going to meditate one. Two. We're gonna meditate two. Don't need those. Wolf and a frog. Mine. You know, I'll pass that main action, but I'm well. I might not pass that main action. That's the. That's really the question. Do you summon something or don't you? Well, aren't you? I am. I'm gonna summon a, a demon. A demon. A demon? Demon. That was actually, if you had not summoned the demon, mm -hmm. I can unfreeze pass, end of round. Yeah. Beginning of the round, unfreeze, and then... This I'm goes good. away at the end of the round, doesn't it? No. Oh, cool. Yeah, yeah, that's exactly then right. Then wide open for yeah. me to... Do my, now, like you were first this turn, right? You swung with the snake first action? I'm almost certain. We didn't flip the token. Right? Because you came into that round, you swung for three with the snake. I went to six. I think so. Then the snake was exhausted. Uh, then I played the false demon. Yeah, because I refreshed. unexhausted yeah. the snake, and then I deep froze it. Got it. Yeah, yeah there right. you go. Okay, so it wouldn't have been so bad. All right. But I don't want to pass. I don't want to allow the pass, and it's funny. That's like my lowest cost main action that I can take. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Let's unfreeze. Mm -hmm. We're almost through that transgression. It's the remix to transmission. Up and fresh out the kitchen. Rolling up. <clears throat> I'm back. Let's play Molten Gold. Ah, oh, what is that? Three damage to your Phoenix Born. Just straight up? <laughs> straight up. Oh my gosh, come on. It'd be burn. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Next step. And I got a snake looking to party. Snake on the party. Snake on the Barbie. Elaine asking about Deep Freeze. We'll pop it up on the screen so you can read it. Basically, three status tokens, and then that unit's exhausted while it has any. I can remove one around with a side action. Did not, did not, did not. Hmm. <clears throat> oh, I summoned the demon, too. That's relevant. Yeah, necessary. Okay. Let's do... Okay. There's no way around this. Mm. 
let's do that. Let's do body inversion on that gilder. Side action. And we're throwing this. Oh, wait, that's a side action. Never mind. Take it back. <clears throat> Swing at the gilder with the false demon. Choice is yours. I'm going to block with this gilder. Ah, nice. Works for me. I'm too weak. And then side action, we're two shadowsing that snake. Mm hmm. We all saw it coming. I had a feeling you were just awaiting. <laughs> uh, yeah, okay. He gone. And he attacked, right? Yes, he did. I need to exhaust all my things. <laughs> it is a cost. I'm going to meditate two. Oh, here we go. And then I'm going to spend these two. To bring Your in favorite snake. and mine. Yeah. Here comes dad. You're out. What are you up to? How many more dice you got? What do you got these uh, divine <laughs> dice for? What's going on here? Good question. And I get to go first next turn. Fair enough. What should I do with that? I'll tell you what. Let's do... Let's do a main action Mist Typhoon. One damage to all of your units, and I get to draw. Let's see what we are working with here. That's very relevant to my interests, actually. Um, and then let's body invert the snake. Get your golden veil right here, buddy. Hang on. All right. Um... Pass. Summon Shadow Spirit. Mm. <laughs> I'm the worst. Ah, uh, keep track of the small stuff. Pass. Pass. In the end game now. We sure are. Mm. I have mm. to take a damage because I didn't have an extra card to draw. It begins. Let's start using Vic's ability, man. Yeah. We'll see it actually pan Let's out. See if it works. I I just totally screwed that up. I think that was a mask. Do you not ever do that on accident? Am I just reckless? <laughs> I don't ever accidentally do it. Okay. But I won't comment my on question. your <laughs> abilities. You rolled mashed potatoes anyway. I did mashed potatoes, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> mashed potato, mashed potato. Get your gang, get your gang. I got the beats in the waka. <laughs> okay. So now it's a game of... Now we've got an interesting game on our hands. Quite an interesting game. Okay. Can we get around that gilder? Do we even want to, you know? Um, yes, we want to dump it while we can. I want to dump it while we can, right? 100%. So let's go. Um, probably sh Shadow Hound. Let's go summon Shadow Hound. Mm -hmm. Here. Do one to the Gilder. 
got him. Where you get that free status. And then side action, do we actually want to meditate at all? I'm scared now. Now the meditation is scary. Uh, no, no meditation desired. Yes, damage was missed on the false demon. No. no. Gilly doesn't have any damage. No attacks, that's right. This is easily uh, the best game of Ashes I have ever. I mean, like by uh, a, a, by a, a degree of of a lot, a thousand. Yeah, yeah. This is the best it's ever been. All right, literally, let's, you're slightly ahead on the. On let's the do this. I'm gonna meditate. Mm, yeah. yeah. See you dare. later. For these two, to become a frog and a snake. I'm going to summon a silver snake. Okay. You're up. Are those in the pool still? No, you those used them. Right, 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 right. Yeah. Okay. Don't step on snake. Hmm. And you can do that again. No, but you'd have to keep meditating. Oh, goodness, goodness. It only gets worse. We found ourselves in a very interesting spot. Have we not, Mr. Bun? So if I do one and invert... Or three, which can't be blocked. That's a guarantee. Three is a guarantee, as I always say. Or Shadowhound Invert, which is the real money right there. But I don't have the dice for it, so it can't do that. Or I could swing. You could take two to prevent it on Mayoni. And then you've got a snake. But what's a snake worth? Really, what's a snake worth? You can only have one out. Are you going to do another one? You're going to put another one out there? Um... I've just got to keep you off of units. You only have potentially two units. Do you have any? Do you have allies? Are you gonna play allies? We haven't seen more holy knights. We have not, but you did. We know you ditched one. There's one in there. There's two in the discard pile currently. Well, I I think uh, let's see. We kill the silver snake. Invert. You bring another one out. You gotta meditate to do that. Mm -hmm. You're out of deck. You're really out of options at that point. Yes, dude. Shadow Hound. What's he doing? Three to the Silver Snake. Block with Mayoni? Unblockable. Oh, uh, yeah. That's a thing. <laughs> uh, sure, I'll hit you back. And then let's invert it. Mm-hmm. All right. I didn't focus my spell for you. He can't be guarded. Yeah, Shadow Hunt can't be guarded. So you can't interrupt what he's doing to units. You can block if he attacks a Phoenix Born, though. <laughs> Somebody out of options? Let's uh, use this and focus for a guild and do a damage to your false demon. Mm hmm. <clears throat> okay. Hmm. 
try to attack the Gilder, or you can not attack the Gilder. I'm playing a different game here. Then you throw the Silver Snake out, potentially. All right, let's swing at the Gilder. Let's block with Manny. Mm -hmm. And then a side action. Let's see. Um, I'm not going to do any side actions. Okay. I'm going to meditate. <laughs> the last gilder I'll ever you. see. <laughs> Into those to then do this and get a silver snake. It is the last gilder you'll ever see. That's right. Okay. I'm not scared. Let's see what you end up doing. Let's do a uh, summon shadow spirit and pass. I'm not scared. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Let's focus, spend two. I think I'll do one there. Hmm. So nice. Side action. Gobble. Gobble. And then um, snake will swing for two. You got me. <clears throat> okay, and then <laughs> let's summon a shadow spirit here. And then let's meditate the last <laughs> card. <laughs> here. Into a wolf. Wolf. Into a wolf. <sighs> Turn the die side down when he attacks. Mm -hmm. He's got a two. Pass. Okay. Swing for two on Mayoni. Or let's we'll swing for two on the Gilder. Swing for two on the Gilder. You got him. Yeah. Pass. Okay. Summon Shadow Spirit. I guess I'll flip that down to a basic on the mm -hmm. last attack. Yeah. Uh, Nature's Wrath won to everything. Mm. Mm. No. Gobble, gobble. Yeah. I got my two status for that. Well, no. <laughs> new, new plan. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. Still painfully close. <laughs> Let's do side action. Meditate. How many cards you got in that hand? Oh, I got plenty. I got I got four cards. Mm-hmm. And then let's cast. 
Magic missile. My false demon. Oh, I'm going to need to meditate one more. Hold on, let me check it out. Cavillo saying, what do you guys recommend for solo gaming? Marvel Champions, Lord of the Rings, or Arkham Horror? Um, I'm on a Marvel Champions, Arkham Horror train right now. Lord of the Rings is a great game, but it, it if you dig that game, uh, you'll love it. And if you love Lord of the Rings. But Champions and Arkham being active is super helpful. I think it depends on the theme and experience you're after. Champions is more like uh, watching a movie. Arkham's more like watching a several season TV show. Paul Steeman and I did one year Silver Snake. Mm-hmm. What kind of nonsense are you working on here? You play refresh or not? What's going on here? Mm, pass. Do you do you have three refreshes in your discard pile? You can just tell me because you have one card in your hand. <laughs> If it ain't refreshed, the answer is yes. <laughs> there are three refreshers in my Discord. Point. Okay, now there's not anything else that unexhausts things, right? You don't in that change psyche card. All right, hard to say, isn't it? Hard to say. All right, let's throw massive growth here. Mm-hmm. Going to six. Pass. Okay, now smart money says, if I'm really if I'm really smart, I'd probably kill the Silver Snake with six. Because you can't counter. And then next turn you take four damage on my uni and go to 15. And then I'm just like, I've got a, a, a decent amount of opportunity. The fun money says attack my uni for six. You don't have refresh of any kind. And then you draw a card and lose. Let's go with the smart money. Or, I mean, the fun money. Six to Manny. You got it. Pass. <laughs> Pass. I lose. <laughs> I had two direct damage. Ooh. Or three direct damage. Wee. What a game. Yeah, that was close. Wow. I, I'm i going to have to find something that is good, as good as Body Inversion Shadowhound. Yeah, the synergy is so good. Or play cards that don't. I think the moment... Let's zoom out. I'm just trying to think. Body Inversion, honestly, is so good that... Not even counting Shadowhound, which I think is an incredible unit, obviously. Oh, it's just like that it stays there. It changes the fundamentals of the game. There's there's only the AoE damage touches Shadowhound. So there's so yeah. many cards in my deck that are just like, oh, this doesn't work. It doesn't work. Um, but Body Inversion is so good that anything that is doing the like low attack value that gets bigger... Mm -hmm. which was this and the Dread Wraith. I don't actually think they're even... Question. ...playable. Um, what about the the card that focuses a ready spell? What is that card? What's it called? Trap? I, I forget Whatever. what it's called. Isn't it a heart? But, I mean, that's the same as having Golden Veil, right? Well, I mean, just what I mean. Like, if you have six answers to it, basically, you could still uh, make it happen. As the agent, once you're coming out with one on it, then it's a lot more difficult. This this is set up to really do well against that, I feel like. Seals the, the thing that puts a focus Right. Because this is doing damage most of the time. That's doing damage mm -hmm. when it comes out. Like, it, it was way better with my nature dice. Yeah. And be able to play multiple snakes. Yeah, that functioned well. That functioned very well. But it's just like, I have to be so delicate around body inversion mm -hmm. all the time. It's really amazing. Yeah. Like, I basically have to get to focus Silver Snake to not have it just wreck me. But even then, it's a one die that just removes a gilder. Yeah, when the, it just having the one uh, the swap is super good. I did see, it looked like there was a lot more of the units were going uh, like 3-3, three, 4-4, three, 2-2 four, four, two, two kind of thing. And that's probably why. I think we'll just need to play with it and play around it. I, I almost think I have to have a Mayoni. So I think it's hard. If I see that I'm playing against Illusion, mm -hmm. opt out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Go, go with something, anything else. I don't know what that is, but... It might just be Mayoni just... Maybe you just play big... Because her ability is so good with big units. Yeah. Maybe... I mean, I technically have the biggest non-conjuration, which is Holy Knight. 
That's the biggest now. You're sleeping on that sleeping bear, bro. Yeah, I can play sleeping bear. That's you have the copies in it, though, so I can't play. Yeah, it. right. If you did, so I feel like if we merge the decks, if you did change psyche, which removes an exhaust or places an exhaust, and uh, refresh, because those are heart abilities. Change psyche is a heart. Yeah. And then you did sleeping bear, but you silver need, snake, etc. You only need so many unfocused. I had that problem because yeah, I had too many. Like, yeah. Well, the bear comes in focused. Yes. And then it's like, whoa. Now you can unfocus it. Unfocus it, and then side action, Mayoni do four out of nowhere. It's pretty good. That's pretty good. Uh, T, I'm, I'm running Holy Knight uh, explicitly because it gives me an option that's not Silver Snake that works well with Mayoni. What about close combat? What is that? Can we pull close combat up? Production side? Oof. Can't read that. I'm gonna have to look at that one. What kind of a card is that? It's like a reaction spell or an action spell. Let's see if we can find it. Chat's usually on to, onto some next level stuff. It's almost like there needs to be a, how can I shut this down? There it is. Uh, then place where I have a chosen unit you control. Close combat is good in that What's it do? situation. So it's the same thing as Mayoni's ability, but then you place one wound on the unit. So you can literally, you can literally have like a firing squad deck with Mayoni. Everything's just firing off without actually yeah. attacking. That would be terrifying. Yeah. I think what we're getting into is we're actually getting into good deck builds for the first time. <laughs> like 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 you know you could take to a tournament. This this very clearly to me. There's so much synergy happening that I'm not even fully appreciating until I start playing and I'm like, oh my gosh, yeah. all this stuff is chaining together. That you can, you This can, is good. It seems like you can always chain something together there yeah. to, to answer what I'm doing. Yeah. Which is good. This one is really good. I just I mean, always feel like I have really good options. I think I might... Another way I could go is like... Uh, I'm, I'm just trying not to pigeon myself too much into the answer body inversion or answer shadow hound. Because mm -hmm. I'm, it's like part of me is like, well, if I had slightly more AOE damage, because mm -hmm. your two health stuff, anytime I can get two or three units off the board when a silver snakes out, it's insane. It's amazing. Yeah. Um. So that's where I used to have like meteor in. It got a little less good, uh, but I could even look at it again because mm -hmm. I'm not doing anything with these except holy knight right now. You could also run. Oh no, wait. The I was thinking the the one that I have is also it. It requires an illusion eye. The mist typhoon. Yeah, it's it's interesting. So this, it makes sense because we built this to be able to to try to deal with big units and small units. It's got AOE. Oh, you know what? Got... This is the thing. Uh, T is asking why am I not running Shining Hydra? I should be running it. We didn't have the updated version until literally I just printed it. Mm, what's Shining Hydra up to? It's the one that you have the Hydra upgrades you can play. Yeah, and they they and, come and... in when it dies, right? When it when it um, takes damage. When it or takes something? damage. Let me see if I can find it. I remember looking at that, and it was like, because it's a big beefy. That that's not the silver snake, so I could go that direction. Basically, here it is. All right, so the it's shining just a snake deck, shining it? hydra itself is a one attack for life. Regenerate head side action. Remove a wound token from this unit to attach shining hydra head alteration spell to it. The shining hydra head is plus one attack, plus one recover, and it has terrifying one. Mm. And it can have up to three of those. So it can get to a four attack. It can be a four um, four. But it is not invertible. <laughs> no, it is not. It's the opposite of invertible. Yeah, I like that a lot. Basically, I can choose to go snake or hydra. Mm hmm. That's interesting. You can also. Because, like. Does it have a focus ability on the summon? I don't think so. I'm, I'm trying to find the summon. So. One thing about it, too, is that with Manny's ability, like if you have a one health character out, I can side action. Oh, she doesn't even, you didn't even get the damage back. That's crazy. But this is good with AoE damage, obviously. It's really good with AoE damage. I do, I do one yeah. to everything, and then it's side action, remove this, get a plus one. <laughs> In fact, like this would be the biggest problem for this. It it obliterates the exact strategy of one damage here, one damage mm -hmm. there. Then and you, you just, can't you can't start by inverting. You just join you just gain grow ahead basically. But I gotta find that summon. And so the answer there to me is the discard an exhausted unit. Um 
But that's amazing. I love it. I'm loving this Ashes uh, reality because... Oh, the summon is a discard spell? Ooh, cool. Can you hand me the discard stack? I just want to see it. Yes, I have it in front of me. Go ahead. Keep that. It's really cool because the you're having to build decks. You have to be able to adapt to what's going on, whether they're running small stuff, big stuff, mill, not mill. It's like, it's really nice because now you can run. It's it's my dream. Hopefully, decks have to be versatile and be able to take on a, a, an exciting metagame rather than just find this crazy combo and then roll in. Um, Here's a reaction spell, too. It's not a reaction spell, is it? It's an action spell. Uh, I mean, I, that's what the hope is, right? And the hope to me would be like, as I start tweaking here, it gets a little harder to play against. Basically, you can't maximize against everything. Yeah, you can't min-max against everything. But I do that love... That should be the goal. I love the idea. I'll have to find it. Um, I do love the idea of... Basically, you have your first five. And so when you see your opponent, you can make some alterations. Yeah. And so it's like, even the reality of like, I don't know what the sum in the Hydra is, but instead of running Golden Veil to cancel here, if I could play the that card instead, it's like... Well, if you deal with a snake, I also just get a hydra, or I have a hydra and a snake out from the beginning. Right, and it's like, come at me. It's the it's the it's the long, thin, uh, you know, aggressive animal deck. Literally, I mean, a hydra is just a, a essentially a pachyderm body with snakes on it. Yeah, and right? it makes sense. <laughs> uh, you know, Mayoni with the hydra, I think it, it's it shining. Works. She's gonna gild it. Come on, yeah, it's, it's, it's just it's right made, itself. made for TV. It writes right it itself. Hey, everybody, thank you so much for joining us. This has been an absolute blast. Uh, a true breakthrough on Ashes, I think, for us today. It was incredibly good. And actually seeing it, seeing through the veil for the first time. Getting Amazing. There. Really yeah. amazing. It was super good. All right, I'm going to click the buttons. Zach. All right, we're going to get out of here. If you haven't seen the subscription for Ashes, do it. And uh, we'll be back at some point. I think next week probably with Ashes. And we'll keep keep streaming until now. And... For a long time, but ultimately, I think the Reborn Kit's coming on January, so we'll see where we go from there. Thanks so much, Stay everyone. Safe. We'll see you later.